This, this, this is not right. Uh, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let, let's finish. Uh, 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 I want you to know that the sweetest thing that has happened to me in this palace. Uh, I am the crown prince of this kingdom, and I am going to use my power to protect you. Thank you. Uh, but help me finish. I can do I will go out there. Ah! Set it, set it, set it, set it. Ah! Just what? Shift a little. Exacto. <laughs> That is a no, 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 I will not take that. I could allow you to do anything in this palace, but I will not allow you to take decisions for me because you do not have the capacity to do just that. Not in this case, Daddy. You are going to do the right thing by redeeming the honor of this family. This honor that we have been trying so hard to keep, you will renew it by doing this. 
And if that means I have to marry Ugonwa, I say again, I will not marry Ugonwa. You will I marry her, Daddy. You don't have a choice. I do have a choice. Let me also remind you that I am still your father and not the other way around. Perhaps if you behave like my father, we would not be in this situation right now, would we? What situation are we? We are not in any situation. Whatever happened between myself and your friend happened behind closed doors and that's how it should remain. Now it's clear you don't want to see reasons with me. I thought that you and I are capable of handling this without involving other people. But right now, you leave me no choice but to involve other people. Starting with your son. This will not happen. This is not going to happen. And princess, I have my life to live. Nobody pins a woman on me. Nobody can pin me down with a woman. You're not even reacting like this is a big deal. Well, let me say this louder. This is a big deal. And I intend to make it so big. Yeah. Of course, it, it, it's a big deal. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I mean, I'm surprised. I, 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 I wasn't expecting that to, 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 to you know, do something like, like, like this. It, of course, it is a big deal. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah, it's big, really big. I'm pretty big. Yeah, very big actually. And unexpected. Oh yes, unexpected. You will agree with me that unexpected things have been happening a lot lately in this palace. Right? And the onus of correcting these things lie on the few people that are still interested in keeping the flag of decency flying. Hmm. Um, greetings, Prince and Princess of Virginia. The Secretary of the Towns Union just delivered this right now. Said it's for you, my Prince. Ah. And just like my sister said, unexpected things keep happening in this palace. Huh? <laughs> and beautiful things are not common to... Uh, <laughs> yeah. You delivered your letter? Yes, my princess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, actually. What was what? I am saying that you don't have the rights to impose your friend as daddy's wife. It's not right. It's not in your place to do so, Modi. Eh? Something happened here, right now. What was that about, Oranye? Well, the only thing that has happened unexpectedly in this palace is the fact that a young girl decided to travel outside her circle and league and got an innocent man to knock her up and get her pregnant. And I'm appealing to you, my darling sister, not to punish this innocent man. Oh, please. Don't give me that crap. We are talking about my friend here. My friend. Well, I get it. Daddy should have known and respected that fact. But oh no, that was impossible because all he does is think through his manhood and not his senses. He 
can't look at you. The way you go on and on supporting him. I hope, I sincerely hope, you don't end up a disaster too. Did you just call our father the king a disaster? Do not twist my words out of context. I'm just saying that if you <clears throat> do not curb your essences, you are not going to like how I'm doing. You know what, sis? <clears throat> I think that you should try very hard to stop acting like a mother hen. You don't have the power to tell people what to do, okay? The unexpected has happened. I suggest that you allow those two adults handle it. You know what I mean? I mean, this, this is a situation that had between two uh, consenting adults. I let them handle it <laughs> as it should be. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what? I don't know why I had this discussion with you in the first place. It has been of no goddamn benefit. And that's because I know how you're wired. What? Well, how am I wired? However, Orani. That vibe you had going on when the maid walked in. What vibe? Kill it. to do with my brother. I don't stop when you see me, princess. John played dumb with me. I saw the way he looked at you back then. And I can almost draw a conclusion from it. So I will give you the benefit of doubt. For a final confirmation or denial. Obine. Are you having a thing? to do with my brother. No, my princess. He has never even asked me for anything before. Very well then. You must know that I am the combination of queen and princess in this palace. Be careful with me. Something is already brewing. I am counting on you to be the one to kill it. Please leave.
Can you hear yourself speak? You mean you want to leave the palace because the princess wants you to stay away from the prince? Yes. This girl, is it that you're not dreaming big or what? What are you even saying? I saw the way he looked at me. I saw lust in his eyes. Are you serious? That's not the issue. I know men. Once they like something, they must attempt to have it. And that's what everyone is praying for. Please speak this thing from you. Don't talk to me like that. Look, get down with the prince. If possible, take in for him. That's the direct way to become the princess or even the queen. Do you know what, Diogo? You are sick in the head. You are very sick in the head. Because how can you open your mouth and utter just nonsense and still bear the cup of the king? Which cup? Which cup? Please, just leave me, I beg. Look, how I wish I'm the one the prince is already lost in after. Hey! I'll corner him in one side of his room and fire him very well. See, I will hate him the way that he will never forget in his life. And the memories of me will just be plain Peru para. Hey, God! God. God. Do you know what? I am very, very sorry to have told you about this. But please, please, Diogo, keep your wild imaginations to yourself. I'm no longer interested. See, 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 see. You must hear me till the end. Mm. Ha -ha! This is an opportunity staring at you like this. How can you be in the midst of water and allow soap into your eyes? Girl, capitalize on this opportunity and make the best out of it. I can't. See, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. The princess will deal with me. She already issued me a serious warning. In your small mind, you think that the princess can override the prince? No, my dear. You see this palace? is already a cruise palace. And even the king is enjoying himself endlessly. You cannot claim you don't know that part. So girl, grab this opportunity and land yourself the prince. Why are you so stupid? I gave you an instruction to tell me the outcome before anything else. I tried, Your Majesty. I, I was actually on my way to you when I... When what happened? When what? Huh? When you now lost your senses and also lost your tongue, that your tongue started flipping. Why will it be my daughter that you would tell about this thing before me? Like I said, Your Majesty, this wasn't intentional. Besides, Moody is my friend, and she has been with me through thick and thin. Through thick or thin or whatever, I don't care. What I gave you was a simple instruction. An instruction so simple, you could not even carry it out. Let me ask you. What are you even good at, Seth? Eh? What are you good at beyond this? Nothing more. Hmm? What do you want? What are you doing here? Because it's unlike you to visit like this. Oh, yes. What do I want? What I want is to ensure that you don't destroy my family and that's why I'm here. So you are going to do something for me and do it as quickly as you can. And you should be the only one to do it on your own and do not allow your flippant, obnoxious tongue to play another game on you, okay? Okay. So, what do you suggest I do? What I suggest is simple. You are the only one with the only remedy to solve this problem that you have created. I 
I never saw this coming. How am I supposed to remedy this? Greetings, my prince. Yeah, greetings. Um, I thought that um, you had cleaned earlier today. I saw you cleaning around here a few minutes ago. What are you doing? <laughs> um, my friends. Yes. We are now in the dry season, and um, and the rate of dust that settles on the surfaces is large. I see. Yeah, so we have to clean everywhere regularly. It's fine. Carry on. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> I think you should clean that. Right? There's a tough stain. Right? Yeah, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. This thing is just. Girls, come now. See, one beautiful thing about sending the right signal is once you send it, you will know. Hey! Wait, what are you talking about? Because we are maidens and we work in the palace for the king. So I don't think we're supposed to be talking about sending signals. Nene. Well, if you ask me, there are signals everywhere oh. in this palace. Oh. There is nothing wrong with us talking about it. Girl, give me five. <laughs> Your head gets oil. Mm. I mean, I like to roll with very intelligent girls and not pretenders. Mm. See, I don't know how to pray to my God to just bless you for me. 100% you know this game. The kind of signal I just sent to the prince, you will not be able to survive it. Trust me. What do you mean the kind of signal you sent to the prince? Are you saying you went all out to seduce the prince? Okay, let's assume I did. Is there anything wrong with that? Don't you have any uh, respect for the woman in you? I don't understand. Are you trying to insult me or preach to me? Huh? You know what? I don't have time for this conversation right now, but I'm going to speak to you in private. Please just go. Go now! Sabi, I belong. See, eh? I hate this girl so much. I don't know what's wrong with her. She's always claiming like she knows more than everybody or she's reserved. Nobody sees her as that though in this palace. My dear, she may not be reserved. In fact, she may be morally bankrupt. But you know what? She knows how to organize herself in her place of work. And that is what you lack. That is what you lack. I'm out of here. See, 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 see this one. See, 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 see the person that was, I was even praising. You don't have sense. What, what, what's wrong with these girls? When I get eyes, when I don't even see. Anyways, I don't have your time. But you see the prince is mine. And I'm going to have him. Nothing. I mean, nothing can stop me. I'll go for the prince and I'll have it. Hold it right there! Princess Moody! I didn't know you were here. What is that supposed to mean? Is this place not my father's house? Well, Princess, I believe you know exactly what I am saying. There is this way you always look at me each time I come visit, and uh, it is so clear you don't like me. I am just wondering where I went wrong. You went wrong the moment you transformed into a negative man. Look at you. You parade yourself as my father's friend. 
whereas you are. Significantly ruining him. That is very uncharitable. How can you say that? No, how is it possible for somebody to be ruining the king? There are things you cannot just say. What I will not find myself do is condescend so low as to join words with you. However, I will leave specific instructions. What it is, is that I want you to never show your face in this palace. Ever again. You have no place here. You're done. You know, I know exactly what you are planning to do. You want to start to control the king of Obodeno Kingdom. Is that possible? You cannot control the king and you cannot catch him. Allow this man to live his life. Please. I say that you're done. You are done ruining the king's life. You are done ruining the lives of these young innocent girls. I hope he paid you well for the useless services that you have rendered. Because you are done. I never want to see you here again. He paid me. Your father is a generous man. But all the people you assume are ruined are actually enjoying their lives. Nobody has been ruined. Disregard my words at your own peril, Bishop. <sighs> of all the men in the entire world, it's this one my father chooses to be friends with. I don't like that man. You know it. Well, it's your business to like or not to like anyone. It's not anybody's business. This one is your business, Daddy. Because I just asked him never to show his face around here again. I take it then that you're beginning not to know your limits in this matter. I mean, how dare you? How dare you buy a royal messenger from entering the palace? <coughs> a royal what? Teddy, that man is no royal messenger and you know it. He is a royal disaster, a nuisance, a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. And it's best he stays outside, lest he explodes here. Then I will tell you something explicitly, my dear princess. That order of yours is hereby vacated because it lacks merit ab initio. You are only but a king. I am the combination of queen and princess. We 
do not need to wedge walls against each other. What I have done, I did in the interest of the palace. I did not in any way attempt to undermine you. Excuse me, Danny. You would pick my call. You would not say anything. I don't understand. Tell me, why are you doing everything so differently now? I already told you what I wanted you to do. And I'm surprised you're not doing it. Why are you not doing it already? <laughs> I cannot leave you alone because you have already dragged my leg out by telling my daughter what she was not even supposed to know. I'm going to give you tonight to make up your mind on what you want to do concerning what I asked you to do. All right? fine if you say nothing at all because I'm pretty sure I will hear nothing that makes sense when you open your mouth to talk. Good. So I believe then that you already know <clears throat> that it's abominable for a child to try to manipulate her father. Oh, manipulate? Where is that coming from? What in this situation will warrant the usage of those words, manipulation and abomination? You know what, I'm beginning to think that you put your friend up to this. You've got to be kidding me. Mm -hmm. Don't even play that card with me, Oranye. She is a grown woman. Mm. One that knows what she wants. And what she wants is to become your stepmother. Someone who's been your friend all these years, suddenly nurses the ambition of becoming your stepmother. You do not have a problem with it. Professor of Analytics, <laughs> how about you carry all of these questions and insinuations to the very person that cannot control his libido. How about that? Because from where I stand, he put someone in a family way and he should make a family woman out of her. Mm -mm. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. It's not necessarily true. But I tell you this. Stop doing what you're doing. Putting a lot of pressure on the king. And if he dies as a result of the pressure that you're piling on him, the people of Obudenu would not take it lightly. At your quiet time, Moody, I'd like for you to ponder on what I've just said. Oranye, I will not let you emotionally blackmail me. Especially considering the fact that I am doing the right thing. What do you mean in this house? What do you people mean? Are you kidding me? All my life you have done this. Try to psychologically spin situations around on me. Like I am the goddamn culprit. You do the crime, be ready to do the time. My you hear that? 
Please calm down. Please, if you keep stressing like this, you're going to break down. I cannot help but stress. These people think I'm a goddamn fool. My princess. He did what? I was shocked. I was shocked. Everything is messed up. More than messed up, my prince. In fact, it has blown into pieces. But wait, what was your father thinking? I don't know. Not from a few minutes of thought. I have constantly told him that as a deceased from this kind of lifestyle, I see, I will have to do with things. It's really messed up. Mm, and it is meant for you, eh? It is. What are you talking about? I don't know. Even my enemies will agree that I am a very handsome, rich, promising young man. If I don't pay her, what will I do? Don't compare me to my father. Relax. You will never change. I want to have a family. You can start holding me down. You will never change. As if, as if you were even planning on doing that at all. What do you mean? Let me tell you something, my prince. Mm -hmm. If you hadn't chosen the same path with your father, I don't think you would be here by now. Right now, you and Sharon might have settled down, have kids. In fact, by now, I, I should be calling you Papa Jima by now. Yes. Listen, I will leave Sharon. All right, she's moved on, I've moved on. I've been happy in a different space. So please, my father is, is, is a couple of discussions. Not me. All right, all right. You win. I'm so sorry about that. So, um, what does what the king plan to do? I don't know. I was still very confused. The main issue I had right now is that the girl in question is Moody's friend. No, no, I didn't hear that. Uh -huh. you, you, Moody's what? There's fire on the mountain. You do not say. <laughs> Have you not noticed the tension around here? What? The atmosphere here is really not friendly. I have been doing everything that I can to help my father. Trying to break me, to make her understand that my father should not be crucified. But she makes it very clear to me that the harder I try to break her, the more I feel that she will not be intimidated. Moody. My name is Ugoma. Moody's friend. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. It's my stuff. Would you relax? I mean, this is not cold. Hold it right there, princess. Not so fast. Hmm? A bathroom there. Why are you decorating the room? <laughs> Daddy. Daddy, you will agree with me that that room is looking so beautiful right now. Isn't it? Though, I have to admit that I was a little conflicted with her choices and preferences because I know her to be a very simple lady. Nonetheless, I am doing my best to ensure that by the time I'm done, what her eyes will see will be so pleasing to her and for all of you to be mind blown. I promise. Who are you talking about? Ah, oh, Teddy, Teddy, just relax. I got this. What I will beg you to do for me is to just to handle this the way I have been. I got this, okay? And I'm going to plead with you to please lay off because I want you to be pleasantly surprised. I said that before, I can't stop saying it. I don't seem to understand the kind of politics you're trying to play with me. You're decorating a room in my palace and you're not telling me who is staying in that room. Okay, fine. It's for your new wife. <laughs> uh, my new wife, right? Yes. I don't think I want to understand this. What is this world turning into? Moody, what is wrong with you? Why would you go about taking decisions for me like this was one huge joke? <laughs> You're right, Daddy. This is no joke. 
Ugoma is pregnant for you. She's carrying your child. That child is potentially my half brother or half sister. Ugoma is pregnant. Ugonwa is carrying your child. Ugonwa is carrying a baby. Ugonwa, Ugonwa, Ugonwa is all I hear in this palace for the longest of time. What is wrong with you, Moody? There is nothing wrong with me, Dad. There is everything wrong with what you are doing. First, you go about taking decisions for me. And secondly, and most importantly, your friend, Ugonwa, may be pregnant. Oh yes, maybe she is. But I am not the father of the child. The child is not mine. Oh, please, Danny, don't give me that crap. Pray tell, have you not had any form of physical contact with her? Are you going to deny ever pressuring her to the point where her strength of resistance failed? And the program had no choice but to give in to your advances just so you can back off. You seem to still be missing the point that I'm your father. Well, yes. And there are certain questions you should never ask me. Oh, the question is, who got the girl pregnant? If not you, she couldn't have gotten herself pregnant. Someone did that. And so you have joined her to believe that that someone should be me. Daddy, are you telling me on your honor as the king of Obudoin that you are not responsible? Your friend Ugoa is a tall, beautiful young lady with all the figures. She has a boyfriend. <laughs> You would like to tell that line, wouldn't you? Thankfully, she had a boyfriend who stays outside this country. And their relationship was long called off months ago. So you see, that line you're told is not going to work. And another thing, Danny, you're not even denying this. You are not denying frustrating this innocent girl to the point where she had no choice but to give in to your advances. She had no choice but to give in to your insatiable libido. Libido that could have been curbed if you listened to us and your cabinet members and taken a new wife when mom passed away. There is no escaping this for you, Daddy. Your first class in logic will not save you from this. You will marry Ugoma. You have not heard from me yet because I have lots of things I am dealing with. I am not in the mood for work now. Trust me, I will call you when I'm ready. Yes, I am at home. I don't want to see any visitor. Understand with me, I have made my decision and I expect you to respect it. Look, Father, I understand how devastated you are, but you have to find a way to live about it. Huh? I mean, why is she doing this? Why will I have a daughter who is so determined 
to set my home on fire. Well, Dad, uh, I'm beginning to see this different. How do you mean? Or are you beginning to agree with your sister? No. I have not said that I'm agreeing with Moody. I'm just saying that you are worrying too much. And if you think about this critically, you would agree with me. That there's really no need to be this worried that. Eh? Ugoma is not dead. She's just pregnant. It's okay. Yes, she's not dead. Yes. She's only pregnant. But how can I be the owner of the pregnancy? I am not the owner of the pregnancy. I have never been careless with these girls when I play with them. I am the kind of man who understands his body chemistry. And I know exactly when to withdraw it. So how could I have started with this girl? And your sister? She's not even showing understanding. Do you know that as we speak, she's already decorating one of the rooms for her friend, her pregnant friend. Why? What for? I don't know. Maybe she'll be in the best position to answer that question when you see her. <sighs> You know what, Dad? I hear you. Okay. You should do less of the worrying and let me handle this. Please. I mean it when I say I am not the owner of that pregnancy. Uh, uh, please, <laughs> please, Dad. Uh, uh, please. <laughs> now, can, can we not tour that path now, please? Please. Uh, we, we have a situation at hand and we'll find a way to get around this. So, uh? It's okay. Yes. Oh no, if my father, the king, reported me to you saying that I am being disrespectful, you ought to have asked him specific questions. Questions that will enable you understand what ways in which I am being disrespectful. And if my father didn't tell you the reason behind our misunderstanding, then I have to say that he's been economical with the truth. As we speak, a lady is pregnant for my father. And it's only fair that his men in council insist that the right thing be done. Oh no, you know me very well. I equally feel that you can vouch for me. What my father refers to as disrespect from me is merely my insistence that he does the right thing. Having told you the real situation. I know you to be a good man and I am counting on you to do the right thing. I'll call you back, sir. Hello, big brother. What's the matter? You've been giving me some looks. Well, I'm not happy with you. We're all not happy with you. Right now, 
We don't like you. You overstepping your boundaries and you know it. And what is that supposed to be? You cannot ask father to take another wife. Much less your friend who should have known better to close her legs. You don't get to tell me what is wrong or right. Mr. Track record of everything wrong. You're not a saint. You have a bad history with women. And you are not infallible yourself. You're not perfect. Okay? I mean, we're, we're humans. We, we, we make mistakes. You understand? What? Don't you make mistakes? Don't you do stupid things sometimes as a human being? Don't you hurt people? Possibly. Oh, unknowingly sometimes. And when I realize, I apologize. I repent of the crimes. But not you. But you cannot compare yourself with me. You and dad are wired the same way. Loosely wired, both of you. And someone has to correct the lewdness in those wires. You now judge your family with those words. I'm not judging, Oranye, but come on. You and daddy cannot keep making the same mistakes over and over again and keep getting away with it. You can't keep acting like nothing is wrong with your acts. Oh. Okay. Can we handle this as a family? Depends on what you mean. Well, what I'm saying is that um, <clears throat> I know that dad, you know, sometimes can, can be a dog. Oh, 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 slow your roll, gentlemen. Do not lay it all on daddy's door. You both are dogs. What? No, I, I wouldn't do that. I, I don't do don't that. Don't I know you too? It's even appalling that I refer to you two as my family. Come on now. Don't throw stones at us. Huh? Listen, one man. Ah, uh, well, you won't understand this thing. You're not a man. Listen, as men, okay, <clears throat> we, we, we itch sometimes, you know, in certain areas. And, and you know, in the process of trying to <clears throat> release stress, we make a few mistakes, you know, along the lines, but it does not mean that we're terrible people. Look, your friend played a part in all of this mess. Oh yeah, she should have known better. Why did she allow dad into her bed in the first place? Oh, you think she didn't resist him? Did she try? You think? Of course she tried. <laughs> she resisted until it got to a point where she had no choice but to lose her strength and sanity. <laughs> and I'm not even surprised because there's something about you and daddy. Something, something about you two that makes it seem as if as if women find you too irresistible. Uh, it is not a compliment. Wipe that smirk off your face. You know, in a sane society, you two will be in prison right now. You need to stop. I will not stop. You are becoming recalcitrant. Be you need to stop. Big brother, I am not going to stop. I have taken it upon myself to handle your essences. You and daddy's essences. Daddy is not escaping this. He will marry Ugoma. He will place upon her the status of queen. That is the only way sanity will return to this palace. And I will be here to ensure that. Why are you acting like a witch? What? Why are you so freaking stubborn and arrogant? What is wrong with you? You know, sometimes I don't know what to do with you, honestly. Can I ask you a favor, Moody? Please, get married. And leave us alone. Get married and just get out. <laughs> yeah, but, but what's that young man's name who keeps coming here? What, Toby? Accept his proposal. For the sake of peace and love of God, please. Leave us alone, all right? Start your own home where you can bully people, toss them around, tell them what to do and what not to do when you want. And allow Father and myself run this palace. Please! 
You would like that, wouldn't you? You would find it to get married and leave this palace that you two have converted into a slaughter palace. <laughs> Lucky for me, marriage is not happening anytime soon. So you see, big brother, you're stuck with me. I will remain in this palace and ensure that you two zip up and behave appropriately. Wow. Mm -hmm. Find it. What's up? Babe, I cannot believe what happened. What I just heard, you can't believe it. What happened? The, the minister, you don't agree say goodbye to the house for San Enrique Estate. Ah, I wish. But you know, normally that one go happen, a matter of time anyway. I beg guess. What you talk that kind of thing now? Which one be guess again? You know, so I know they like that word guess. I be wish. I won't take no waiting there your mind. No, fine, babe. Castelladon boss. He has finally nailed one of the girls. I mean, I don't go straight to the point. Talk now. Nah. Nobody beat around the bush. But just tell me what's happened. Who nail who? The king. The king of the girls. The king don't knock one girl up. And the matter they rumble for the new kingdom as we they talk like this now. You mean King Solomon? No, they talk all this kind of thing. Why would they? You just want to spoil my mood. No, why would you use that kind of thing? They joke from where I did. It is not a joke. No, no, no. It is not a play idea. Okay, why I call Bishop? No, call Bishop. Bishop will tell you better. Oh, oh wait. Waiting the, the king to talk. You won't marry the girl. Zina, I don't know, but from waiting, Bishop, tell me, hmm. the princess is hell bent on shipping the two together because apparently the girl is her friend. So I don't know. Hey, while I don't enter, we are the no go feel hide that. Let me smell that one. No, no. I can call Bishop. Me, I don't trust you. You they, they come, come in where where. Oh yeah, call him now. You don't know one person they serious. Call and make it here from you. No, Allah now. Call and confirm first. Does it ever occur to you that you have become a nuisance here in this palace? I beg your pardon. How am I a nuisance? Or am I the one who got someone's daughter pregnant? This. Hmm? You see this topic of yours. You see the lies that you have created. You're constantly looking for ways to put people in trouble. I don't even want to talk about it. Is that what you think? That I fabricated this? No, I didn't. Someone is already pregnant. And that's the person who will live in the room the princess just set up. Jogo, I have work to do. Allow me concentrate, yeah? Um, uh, as the fact that they do I saw so the sun with a beauty. Oh, hey, oh. Hey, this one, the royal palava. Oh, 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 oh. This one, the royal timbulu tabia. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. As papa de do, we begin de do. Ay. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. If a man. This is all your fault. I warned you against our going to him to talk to him about his possible marriage to that lady. But you were so certain that he would listen. The issue here is that the princess of Obodeenu has taken a stand on this. Duma Dao will align with her and the king will be helpless. This is the same man we have been pressurizing to take a wife and he blatantly refused. And now he's going to marry the one he has put in the family way. Hmm. Do you really think it will be easy? Very easy. Forget his bravado and exuberance. 
He's not the type to risk the future of his unborn child like this. We're going to flog him back into line. Oh no, I am beginning to see this differently. The mere fact that he asked his guard to throw us out of the palace is one insult that I cannot forget. He is the only one who enjoyed the lady. So let him face his problem himself. Men who are men do not vent their anger on the king. <laughs> and he can certainly vent his own anger on concerned men in council that came to rescue him. I am out of his insults. I'm not available. Let him solve his problem by himself. I'm out of this place. Hmm. What if it turns out the king is not the one responsible for this pregnancy? Children of nowadays are renowned for sleeping around. What if the pregnancy is from another man? Hmm. Hmm. Well, Father, I have um, listened to you. I also know how you feel. But I also think, Father, that you're... You're going the wrong way. Never no, mind these men. They are not sure of anything. You know, they only can appear on my side to see how I fall for their nefarious game. Dismissing them the most violent way was the best approach ever. What if this girl is pregnant, Father? Or what if the child in question is yours? That I am saying that we bring her here for questioning. That's what I'm saying. All right, stay out of this. Do not get yourself involved. This is my game, and I'm on top of it. Okay. <laughs> I'm on top of it. Okay? I'm sorry, Moody, but where is all this coming from? My father is playing a high resistance card. And I'm wondering why though? Tell me. I don't think I can try to rope in a king with something as serious as pregnancy. What I think is that you should answer sincerely this direct question that I am going to ask you now. Are you sure that it's him? Are you sure that it's my father, the king, that was intimate with you? Moody. Hence the pregnancy. You know me too well. I wasn't with anyone. I was your father alone and he's responsible for this pregnancy I can't swear on anything to prove it so why why then is he resisting the information Why is he vehemently denying if indeed he was ever intimate with you? He's the only one that has answer to that question. I can tell you with all the sense that your father is responsible for this pregnancy.
Hmm. <laughs> ah. This, this, this is not right, Dad. You don't bite on me like this. This, this is my private quarters. Meet me in the living room right now. And I mean, right now. No, Dad, I have to finish, Dad. I have... What? But I have to finish that, that I'm... I'm finished. He's going to tell the princess and she's going to fire me. Uh, relax, you're not finished, okay? <laughs> but you and I, we, we have to finish. Do you understand what I mean? Are you sure about that? Uh, I'm sure. We, we have to finish. You understand? Uh, I'm already up. Eh? And what goes up must come down. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let, let's finish. Uh, 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 I want you to know that the sweetest thing that has happened to me in this palace. Uh, I am the crown prince of this kingdom and I'm going to use my power to protect you. Thank you. Uh, but help me finish. Yeah. I can do double. I will go out there. Set it, set it, set it, set it. Ah! <laughs> Just what? Shift a little. Exacto. <laughs> father. Father. Why? How can you do that to me, Father? You just embarrassed me in there. Father, you bashed into my privacy. How would you feel if I did that to you? I guess you imagine that adopting this confrontational pattern will make me weak before you, son? Really? A maid? Father, please. Do not pass comments about my personal life. I don't do that to you, father. The person involved is not the subject here. Your conduct, father, is the bone of contact. You stop pissing around the bush! You're messing with a maid. That's a maid in this palace. My servant. I'm just an ordinary maid. I'm a human being, father. She was first a human being. And as such, she has rights to her privacy. Father. And if we have to reduce ourselves to the level of beginning to discuss our personalities and all that happens here, I'll be quite happy, father, to remind you that you go one which you have allegedly gotten pregnant is Moody's best friend. Your daughter's age made father. Why did you stick it in her? Now hold it right there! I am still your father. No matter how little significance that means to your life. I can tolerate Moody messing around with me, but not you. After all, you're not even as clean as you portray. Those who live in glass houses. Never draw stones, Father. And that's why I keep protecting you. That's why I have never condemned you. With everything that you have done in this past, Father, I keep watching your back. You know why? Because we're the same, Father. We are cut from the same cloth. The only difference, though, is that I am more strategic and careful in my dealings. What exactly do you mean? What I mean is that never would it be said in this community that I got someone pregnant? You know why when I play, I play well, I play smart, I use protection. You have sold the image of this family in the mud, Father. You should be the topic of discussion, not me. Where is your sister? I don't know. <laughs> Search me, Dad. Search me. I don't know what she does not tell me anything. For all you know, she's probably somewhere with the Umuadas discussing the mess that you have created. Now be careful the way you talk to me. I'm still your father. I did not create any mess. I am the king and I still remain so. Stop playing the father card. It doesn't suit you. Where is this girl? Shouldn't she be here by now? 
I don't like this kind of nonsense attitude. Talking as if you don't know Jerry. She always, always finds a way or two to avoid work. It's becoming a part of her. If she doesn't take her time, I'll be forced to tell Madame Chica the truth about her. Why is your Um no, she Hey, hey, hey! And where do you think you're coming from? Um, 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 yes, uh, I was cleaning, ma. I'll get to this immediately, ma. Do you go? Ma. See me after me. Okay, ma. See. Hope you both didn't tell her anything. Eh? The one who can say anything must be the one you managed to keep in your mind. Exactly. You have not said anything to any of us. So what exactly can we possibly be telling anyone? Better. You are supposed to be in charge of all the maidens in this palace. Hmm? Yes, Your Highness. How come they are doing unimaginable things and you have not been able to catch one or even make a report? I'm surprised with this information, Your Majesty. But I'll set my eyes down now to see if I'll catch anyone. Chief, I may have my own problems that I'm dealing with, but do not forget. Let us not forget that this is a palace. Let us not forget that. There are rules. I know the rules, Your Majesty, but trust me. I feel I know where this is coming from. Don't worry, I'll get down to it. I promise. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. You're welcome, my princess. Thank you. Your Majesty, I beg to take my leave. Hello, Daddy. Where have you been all day? Has been out there raising more problems for me. Daddy. Why do you talk like that? If I am going around, like you have just said, it's because I'm busy solving the problems that you created. That's right. Did I tell you that I have problems? Did I invite you to solve any problem for me? Listen, my dear daughter. Why are you waging a war against your own father? Mm -hmm. With due respect, my father, the king. I am only wedging war against your uncontrollable libido. Since mom died, you refused to remarry. And that has put us in this mess. And so you have to force your friend on me as a wife. <laughs> Listen to me, my dear daughter. You need to do a rethink because nobody, and I mean nobody, forces anything on a king. Talk about a black hat of the king. Mm -hmm. Just to drop this bag. Let's let's get to it. Huh? What, what is it? Huh? Sweetest orange. What is it? Why are you doing this? Why am I doing what? Why are you doing this? Why are you being all stiff? Hmm? Does it mean that this is the only thing you know how to do? Do you mean to say that you don't have any plan of settling down and becoming responsible? What are you talking about? 
Sweet orange, you're in my room. Huh? You're going to be spending the night here with me. <laughs> what other act do you want me to put up <laughs> to prove to you that I'm responsible? Of course I'm responsible. I'm your man, you're my woman. Come on, let's get to it. Huh? Sometimes when you speak, I start to wonder how you make your judgment. What has a woman spending time with you got to do with being responsible? Well, everything. Given the fact that I am a handsome rich prince who can afford to take you to a five-star hotel, but instead I have decided to bring my woman to my home, my bedroom. Mm. Now, that makes me responsible. Okay, and let's see if truly... Uh, come on now, uh, 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 sweet, 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 oh, orange, yeah. sweet orange, put the bag down, all right? You know, uh, you know what, like, not when we're done, we, we can open the bag. Don't worry. Let's see, it's truly your responsibility. What is this about? Uh, Come on, you're slowing us down now. Huh? Mm -hmm. you're, you're slowing us down. Listen, I'm all up and ready. Let's just get to it. Okay. Uh, all right. Can you please explain this? This. Oh! I remember. <laughs> That's, 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 that's me and a fan. Uh, one of them days I was just going around the community, carrying out my community um, duties. A fan spots her favorite prince, wants to take a photograph. She takes a very good piece. You know, it's in your position and you're asking the prince. That is no fan, right? That's a fan. <laughs> Do you really think you can extend your Casanova fan to my friend and I won't find out? What are you talking about? What, you're trying to call me a Casanova? I am not calling you for that is who you are. I mean, you and your father have succeeded in painting royalty right. Okay, that's enough. Okay? Keep my father out of this. I'm the one dating you and not my father. Okay? Please. You are the one dating me. Right? And you are the one making passes at my friend. To the extent of taking her to Tinapa for a weekend. And you think I won't find out? What are you talking about? What 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 what, what, what friend? Anyway, she took pictures of you to avoid denial. Uh, and I'm here to officially tell you that I am done with you. I beg your pardon. What are you talking about, sweetness? You can't be done with me now. You're not gonna You're not gonna put an end to this very sweet thing you and I share, you know, on the account of a one-sided story. Hear me out, okay? It's not what you think. I know that sounds cliche, but really this time it it's not what you think. Okay? Listen. Yeah, what? And listen very good. Sandra is not just a friend. She's a sister, and she can never Betray our bond. She came along with you just to unmask the Casanova man parading himself around me. I have a good news for you. She took neat pictures of you when she were begging her to allow you go in between her legs. And we're using that to tame you. <laughs> Try anything stupid. And your mute pictures will litter all over the blocks. Rubbish. I guess it's equally going down with you. That is why you buy his door. Monitoring what is happening in his room. Right or wrong? Please, I don't have time for this. Just do. You're here. Huh? You're still here. Because we're inseparable, huh? my love. Huh? 
sweetness. Huh? My sweet orange. Huh? You're sweeter than anything else in this world. Thank you for holding on to, to hear me out. Eh? I knew that you won't leave me. Eh? I know that the love that you and I have will keep you here to hear me out. Okay, I can understand that you're angry, but if you just calm down, you know, let's just go back into the room and explain everything that happened at Tinapa. Okay. Trust me, I'll tell you everything, I mm. promise. Oh yeah, listen, you don't know how much I love you, that's a problem. Maybe I haven't taken time to communicate that with you. You're the only woman that can bend me as a prince of this kingdom, you know, to do just as you want. Just let's, let's just go back. It's getting late. Well, hmm? there is a palace maid who I know that you've been going down with. She's been standing here by your door. Me? Reasonably listening to our conversation. Oh, no, 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 no. Probably she just came to clean. You know, you know I'm very you know, finicky. She just wanted to clean. Hey, oh, come on, sweetheart. You yeah. can as well explain that to her when she confronts you. I don't need it anymore. That's true. Palace me. Olodia Achia. She locked up her engine room. Now, she's a whistleblower, going everywhere, announcing to people. What a couple of women will house. Speaking of that, I'll ask me, where is that girl? Where is she now? This night cannot just. I have to find the lemon. Shall I bear the orders? Can we go to court? This is so messed up. How did you get yourself involved in this kind of mess? First, it was an older man who happens to be your friend's father. And now, you've got his slut after you, trying to devour you. Look, you have to do something about this. I am trying. I am trying to work out something. I'm not seated here with folded arms. I am trying. Well, it doesn't seem to me like you are doing much. Those girls shouldn't be out there making a mockery of the little dignity you have left. Mimi, please, do not add to this. If you want to insult me, at least wait. Let me finish handling those two, please. Come on, Ugoa. I am not trying to be mean here. It's, it's just... This is, this is too much. Moody, um, calling to inform you about some guests who came here earlier to threaten Ugonwa because of the king. There is no name they did not call her. And they threatened to kill her if she doesn't stay away from the king. I don't know, princess, but you have to do something before they do something terrible to her. I'll try and be here with her, but you have to do something as soon as possible, or I'll be forced to call the police on them. Fine, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Listen, Sandra, I am not going to patronize you with some sweet words, all right? You messed up. You messed up big time. What do you mean by you messed up? I took you to Tinapa. You know how much that trip cost me. I took you there so that we can have a good time, have fun. 
Instead of you reciprocating, we got there and you locked up. Huh? I would there, but she call everywhere. I still did not take it personally. I brought you back home in one piece. And now I hear that you're opening up to Miss Orange. Why? Hold on, you're saying something and I'm having a different interpretation of it. Can you just clear me? What do you mean by you brought me back in one piece? Did you plan to harm me in Tinapa? Eh? Uh, no, have you lost your mind completely? I asked you a question and you're responding with a question. Are you alright? Answer my question. Uh, see, listen. You're not the decent man people believe you are. So you shouldn't be asking me questions. Do you understand? Um, I have it on good account that you have, um, you know, some nude uh, 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 pictures and videos of me and that you intend to... Hold on, hold on. I have no intention of blackmailing you with those pictures. Ah. And I'm not also going to ask money for it. All I want you to do, please, is to stop deceiving girls with your position and everything. That's all. What are you talking about? Who am I deceiving? Listen, no one needs to tell me for I have a dozy of you. Do what you must do or you will force me to do what I said. You can brief the police. I don't care. When they call me, I will say exactly what I said. Do you know what I feel? These people have no pictures to upload. Yeah. They merely fabricated these narratives just to keep you at the corner for you not to enjoy yourself. You know what? Call their bluffs. You see that nothing will happen. They book out so fast. What if these people have a picture of me for real? You've got to be careful. And that means indeed you were naked before a woman who was still wearing her clothes. Yeah. What kind of interpretation are you giving to this now? My prince have not given any interpretation. We are still analyzing the whole thing to reach a conclusion, alright? Yes. I'm confused. Yes, because I mean... <laughs> Sandra and I were good, you know? All the times that we were together, you know, planning to go to Tinapa, she gave me an impression that it was going to be fun, you know, we're going to get it together and, you know, just enjoy ourselves. You know, it was like a short getaway for us. And then we got there. She was totally different. Ah, well, we came back, you know, and carried on. But do you know that even until Miss Orange came to confront me about this, Sandra was still giving me an impression that it was still going to happen between us. So you get my you get my confusion? My prince. Something tells me that you are still pumping money to this agenda. Am I right or wrong? Ebuka, I don't understand you. How you switch from a very serious topic to that of frivolity just can be very annoying. What has money got to do with what we're talking about now? My prince, is it not obvious that when you have a problem, that's when you will call me to start reasoning with me. Yes, it's only when you have a problem, that's when you will call me. Just one million naira I asked of you, you didn't give me. But if it is Sandra who, that will ask you of two million, you wire it straight to her account. I don't like all this nonsense. Do you know what I think? What do you think? They have the pictures and they will upload it. Yes, they will. Why would you say that? Because that is what is going to happen. Because this whole thing doesn't make sense to me. It's nonsense. I, I can't sit here and be discussing nonsense that will not give me money. This will not fetch me any money. My prince. Good day, my prince. <clears throat>
Hello? Congratulations. You passed your first task. More is coming. Raise yourself. Remember the mistakes. Or you know what will happen next. I know, but at least. Hello? Hello? I'm really sorry, my princess, but your father is too stubborn of a man to deal with. You should have known that when he made a mandate not to hold cabinet meetings unless the need calls for it. Honestly, my princess, there's nothing we the elders of this land can do to help your cause. Very well then. Thank you for taking the time to wade in. It has now become clear that my father has a spiritual problem. It has now become clear that my father has a spiritual problem. It's almost as if he's operating under a curse. Why would you say that? You're talking about the king here. <sighs> he might be king to you people, but to me he is my father. And as his daughter, Whatever negative lifestyle that he brandishes rubs off on me negatively. I get ashamed and defamed. And now, I intend to get to the bottom of it. I have no idea. Why you should suspect something like this? But I'll look into it. Thank you, Onohu. Your Th efforts were futile, but thanks. Don't worry, my princess. I'll do the little I can to help your family. You were right when you said if the head is sick, then it means the body is sick too. Thank you. It's not a problem, my princess. The king is not just my king. He's my personal friend. So, it's true then? Mm -hmm. The news flying about is actually truth? Yes, my dear Zina, the news is true. Very true, but that is not actually the main thing. It's not? It's not. What could be a lot worse than a girl being pregnant for the king? Well, what is a lot worse is that the princess of Obodenu kingdom is insisting that her father, the king, must marry that girl. What? Onion. <laughs> Is she mad or something? So just because he mistakenly got a girl pregnant, she is going to force him to bed her forever. <laughs> no, no. We are the ones still the happen. The issue here is that you are not understanding a whole lot of things. This girl who mistakenly got pregnant for the king is actually the closest friend to the princess. So? Ah. It can't happen. <laughs> Enough it happen. So she won't collect food from my mouth. Come feed me sand. No, no. Enough it happen. It can't. I don't understand. Which one is food again from your mouth? Uh, you are not beginning to see the king as food. Listen, Zina. 
What I did was to fling you to the king for a night. And to the best of my knowledge, he paid you so much for the services rendered. So why are you not closing it up? Why are you... I, I didn't tell you this for you to flare up. I just gave you this information for you to understand what is happening in the kingdom. Listen, Bishop. Listen, Bishop. If there is anyone the princess should be shipping to the father, it should be me. Not some frustrated old cargo. I don't understand. Are you now trying to uh, lay claims on the king of Obedeni? That uh, you are not the owner of the king because of that? No, now. Why, why, why? We, come on, stop this thing. This is business. You should be thinking on how to make money from this connection you have with the king. I'm not thinking of how you are going to become the owner of the king. How can you be the owner? Are you looking at the king? Listen, you don't even know the kind of power the princess of Obodenu has. She is a woman with a lot of audacity. And let me tell you something, even the king himself is so scared of the princess. You know that way? Then she has to use that same guts to get the right babe for the king. And I am the right babe. Eh? Yes, and nothing can stop me. Zinayara <laughs> Banona. You are the right babe for the king. Listen, Maloko Gemo, if I be wounding a little king in the water, you marry. Come on, think business. Business. I work at Anchor, they said in a GBB glass in Munja, and I came back. I had always known Jogo is a loose woman. But I never imagined it to get to the point of seducing the prince. Why are you talking this way? You really believe that stupid thing we just heard? How do you mean stupid thing? Are you trying to say he lied against her or what? He must have made her do it. He is not a noble man and you know it. Eh, uh, but you know that Madame Chica said that um, Diego claimed ownership of the prince. I mean... Who is Diogo to claim ownership of the prince? Girl, it is possible he told her she owns him. You never can underestimate what a useless man will say when you take him to cloud nine. Diogo is a useless girl, I agree. But the prince is not free from blame. Now wow, the matter don't reach like this. I swear babes, I have never been so insulted. That fool was addressing me as if he was giving a specific instruction not to let me in. But babes, I doubt it was the king that gave such instruction. I mean, he knows how random and unexpected visit that we make to the palace. And he enjoys it whenever we come around. So I doubt he was the one. Who then do you suggest, babies? Eh, maybe that princess. Yes, you know how irritated her face always appears whenever she sees us with the king. Flash off from her face. The memory is still fresh. She warned us to stay away from the king. And the pregnant girl is her friend. Can't you place it? Babes, that's not enough reason for her to give such ridiculous instruction at the gate. If there is anyone who should be in that position right now, it is me and not that gold king rat. Wow. Zina, I thought you never wanted anything or anyone to tie you down. Babes, now change. So what are you going to do now? Well, as a starter, I am not going to sit and do nothing. She knows it's not possible. <sighs> Anyway, in as much as that man is an important asset that has added to the rise in capital, I'd rather be on the sideline watching. That one is your business. As for me, I am going to fight for what is mine. And nothing can change it. Is it that women of my generation are suddenly so useless? Or is that just 
something that has to do with you too. Excuse me? That's an insult. What are you insinuating? Melanie, or whatever it is you call yourself. I am not insinuating anything. Simply put, I am making a categorical statement. And I know that you two know what I mean by that. But you have not said anything. You are just exhibiting bitterness towards us. And I wonder where we went wrong. You went wrong? the moment you began to sleep with a man old enough to be your father. So we should understand that to mean you are dictating for the king who he should receive as a visitor and who he should not receive. What I will not do is exchange words with you two. But know this. I am not only the princess of this land. I am queen equally. And so, yes, I have a right to bar or dismiss whoever I want to dismiss from coming to this palace. Ladies, be guarded. Greetings, Your Majesty. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a uh, good one, right? Yes, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Hope you're good. I'm doing really good. <laughs> and I can see you always. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> yes, I guess you're here to see Moody. Yeah, I am. Yes, I'm sure she's in her chamber. Oh, I know. Oh. I called already, she told me. <laughs> um, uh, I hope you will not mind if I say again that you are a very beautiful <laughs> <laughs> No, I do not mind, Your Majesty. Uh, Coming from you, it means a whole lot to me. All right. Thank you for the compliment. Your mother, welcome. <laughs> May I? As Papa de do in picking the way, oh, 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 if a man, oh, 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 you, you are leaving. Mm-hmm. And I thought you were going to stay the night this oh. time. <laughs> oh, your majesty, I, I would have, maybe next time, I have a lot to do at work, that's why. Daddy, I have asked her to stay, but she has come up with a million and one reasons why she couldn't, she can't stay. And oh, really? Oh I give up. Perhaps one of these days she'll run out of excuses. Oh dear. Hopefully. Well, it follows therefore that even if I do ask her to stay the night, it will be of no positive. No, result. no, no. Ah. Because I have begged and begged and she refuses to ah, bend. Okay. That's right. All right. Um, <laughs> that, that's fine. In that case, let one of the drivers take her home. She's a royal guest. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. your majesty, that would be totally unnecessary. Are you kidding? No, no, no. I wouldn't want to hear any of that. You see, the only thing I don't ever want to hear apart from you're getting married in the nearest future mm -hmm. is that anything bad happens to you. No. Mm -hmm. So, uh -huh. Are you kidding? Um, 
Okay, Chuku. This is a royal offer. Come to the garden. You know better than to turn okay. it down. What is that? All right. Uh, yes, hurry up. They will take you home, eh? Okay. <sighs> My king. Uh, hey, uh, you take oh, shall, shall I have a line. My king. I understand, but I have three taxi drivers in my contact. They take me anywhere I want to and they charge me less. So I'm fine. My king, I'm here. That was uh, you wait. Okay, you, you will take her home and ensure that she gets into her compound before you leave. Mm -hmm. What's the idea? What's the idea? Okay, so darling, um, have yourself a very beautiful day. She and I will. want to thank you for two things. First, for coming around. And secondly, for being such a wonderful friend to my daughter. <laughs> Majesty, you just killed me. Thank you, sir. I really do appreciate it. <sighs> you should know that my father can be quite intimidating with <laughs> all of his royal aura. Don't let him get to you. I know you, Daddy. Girl, call me. I'm fine. Your Majesty. <laughs> Bye. Excuse me, Daddy. <laughs> Shall we? It's okay. Um, Ubunwa. Do you know he likes you? Who? The king, of course. He likes you a whole lot. Are you not seeing it? Where is this coming from? What, what brought about this subject topic? The king is like my father, so how can you say he likes me? I don't mean to get you angry. But he likes you a whole lot. Yes. I can't remember the last time he did this. He's doing it because he likes you. Are you, are, are you not thinking about it? Okay. Give it a thought. Okay? Can you stop all this and please take me home? It's okay. Let's go. Look at you asking if you're safe. Like I had a cutlass or a gun. Oh, you're safe, of course. Please. Sit down. Thank, Thank you. You. <laughs> yeah. you know, I uh, I realized that I've not been doing it for you a lot of the things that I'm supposed to be doing for you. So I decided to come on my own to personally apologize to you and to assure you that I will not slack again. My king, I don't understand. Ah, you will not understand. Uh, let me just uh, make it clear. You know, as a young lady, you need some toiletries. You need a few things. You know, this is just the token to help you take care of all of that. Yes, uh, and, and don't say no. Don't refuse it. Um, be assured that this is just the beginning. Whatever it is that you need, that you know I can provide, always call on me. Hmm? Thank, you. Thank you so much, my king. Thank you so much. I am speechless. Uh, you don't have to say anything. There's no need for any speech. All you need to do is to put yourself in a position where you, you begin to enjoy life and make the best out of life for your beautiful self. Mm? I'm grateful. Listen, you have to let me in right now to see the king. Madam, 
I have told you already, you cannot go in there. Please just go. That is a royal order. And who gave the order? The king? You know, if it's not the king, it will not stand. So if you know what is best for you, let me in right now or you will lose your job. Please, don't let me lose it by forcing you out of this place. Go and get a proper appointment. Hey, where are you going with the bag? I have been suspended. Suspended? Who suspended her? Listen, you have to let me in. Please, you have to go. Start, just start going. Please, start going. showering you with gifts and all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I came to see you, my king. I least expected that kind of gesture from you. Mm. Thank you, my king. So do I understand that to mean that you don't like what I'm doing? Oh, oh no, my king. Thank you. Yes. Oh, well, your majesty, let me put the streets. I am grateful for all you've been doing for me. You will not understand, my king. In fact, this is the first time someone is doing something for me with love. And surprisingly, it's coming from you. I am happy. Thank you, my king. Yes, you're welcome. Well, let me also put it straight to you. Hmm? Whatever it is that I'm doing for you, it's really nothing. I am one old man who has so much to do what they call give away. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my king. You've done more than give away. In fact, as it stands now, I don't think I'll be needing any food stuff at home again because my house is stocked up. <laughs> well, I'm delighted. I'm happy that I've been able to that little smile on your beautiful face. Thank you, my king. Oh. Here you are. Didn't tell me you were coming. <laughs> I just got here. You look good. You too. Are you alright? You look nervous. Something wrong? No, I'm fine. Sure? I'm okay. Okay. You're welcome. Hi, Can Daddy. I now welcome my daughter? Hi, Daddy. How are you? <laughs> How was it? It was great. How's your thing? Good. Okay. Moody. Why do I feel you are angry with me? Listen. I entered the palace and the king asked me to come here with him. What was I supposed to do? Say no to the king? I'm not saying that you ought to have disobeyed the king. What I want to know is what transpired between you two before I walked in. I will still want this. I told you already. I just want to know. You know what? That he asked me out. I'm asking because I know my brother. I equally know my father. And I know how they can be with women. 
class. I've seen the way he looks at you. Mm -hmm. Are we still falling back on this? Listen, Mindy. The father gave me some money, yes, and some food stuff. What was I supposed to do? Neglect such gesture? I had to come say thank you. Well, thank him all you want. But take my advice. You should stay away from my father. He is still very active down there. And like I said before, he has his way with women. I just wish you could trust me a little. Should I? Oh yes, you should trust me on this, princess. I know what your father said. He just wants to help me as his daughter. So it will be so disrespectful to bring the king into subjects like this. Okay, I believe you. You win. I trust you completely. So you're welcome again. Thank you. You hungry? Yes. I can make you something delicious from the kitchen. Mm. You know I can. And you think I'll let you do that all by yourself? If you have plans to cook today, then we will do it together. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Why does it look like the Casanova prince sent you? Just go back and tell him that I, Orange, am not listening. Sometimes when you speak, I begin to see the child in you, refusing to grow up and come to terms with the reality of life. What does that mean? Are you by any means trying to insult me again? I will just ask you to leave my house this minute. And I will leave. But that will not stop me from telling you the truth. What truth? What truth, peace? Why are you always making it look as if you are more intelligent than I am? Orange, this is not about intelligence. This is reality. You are going to lose your man and you will end up regretting it. Are you daft or something? Didn't you hear what I said he did? And how are you so sure that Sandra the schema is not lying? just to see you fall out with your man. Oh, Pete, you're just impossible. How can you call it lies when the pictures are there? Pictures don't lie. Yes, pictures, pictures, pictures. There is nothing wrong in that picture. If not two adults posing for the camera, why will anyone read meaning into that? Sandra agreed to follow him to Tinapa because he promised to give her three million naira. And where did you get that useless information? Goodness, investigate the schema you trust so much. She's only trying to bring down your man because he refused to give her the three million naira he promised to give her. Is there any reason why Sandra would want to make money off your man in the first place? Think about it. Listen, I am looking at the letter here. I, I don't understand it. Yes, I cannot make sense of it. Listen, that entire layout was my brainchild. Right? I am the one who got the Commission of for Lands involved. And I did that to make validation from the Office of the Lands easy for us. So what are you telling me? No, I will not take that. Tell the business class to get out of that place and do not bother. Not bother the developers of their lands. What, what is it? No, no, that is not true. All the developers have already paid their development levies to the palace. Uh, listen to me, mister. If I come there and find that those miscreants are still there, I would have to arrest all of them, personally. What? You and I have nothing to talk about. 
All right? I am in no mood for further negotiations on this matter. I have given an instruction and I want it carried out. Thank you. I should leave now before your children call me. Oh, that would go again. I'm the one you're serving in this palace, the man of my children. I know my king. Mm. And you'll agree that I'm serving you to the best of my ability. I know, right? But I am the one you always call if they need anything. They'll be fine. Let's relax. And one more thing. On no account. What? And one more thing. What we share is strictly between you and I. Hmm? On no account whatsoever would you allow anyone unmask this relationship. Hmm? My king, you can trust me. That's my girl. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I know you see you are You are finished me already. You are finished. Oh, it's gonna have to be a good one. Yeah. Here you go, my princess. Your juice. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Mm. This is refreshing. I need it. Um, any other thing you'd like me to get for you, my princess? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Angel. Please go. Okay. Oh, one more thing. You know, I want to ask about Diogo. I haven't seen her for some days. Oh. Is she sick or something? That girl. <laughs> She's also special, my princess. Suspension? Yes. For what? For not just throwing herself at the prince, but for actually sleeping with him. Yes. What? <laughs> My princess. Diogo seduced the prince and made her way to his bed. They were caught red-handed by the king himself. And the king asked me to watch the palace workers closely. It was then I discovered that Diogo was gradually walking away to get him pregnant for the prince and possibly be his wife. And I know what this would do to the image of this family, so I had to order her to proceed on a suspension immediately. You're saying all of this happened in this palace? And I had no idea. My princess, I'm sorry, but I feel we shouldn't be disturbing with everything. Moreover, I already have the mandate from the king to hire and fire palace workers. I feel I should do my job without disturbing you, my princess. I'm sorry. Okay, you can go. Okay, my princess. If you need any other thing, I'm just a call away. Okay. Madam Chica, my princess. Please sit. What is this thing going on between you and my father? What, my princess? This thing between you and the king of Casanova. What is it? King of Casanova? Who is that? Don't play dumb with me. Oh, oh my king. Mm -hmm. I should leave now before your children call me. I know my king. Mm. And you'll agree that I'm serving you to the best of my ability. I know, right? But I am the one you always call if they need anything. They'll be fine. 
Let's relax. And one more thing. Mm -hmm. On no account. What and one more thing. What we share is strictly between you and I. Mm -hmm. On no account whatsoever would you allow anyone unmask this relationship. Mm -hmm. My king, you can trust me. That's my girl. So I to see like I know you see what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, you are finished to me already. You are finished. Oh, it's gonna to me. That's wonderful to do that. Yeah. It appears you remembered something. Wanna share? My princess, I didn't remember anything. Besides, I don't know what you're driving at. But there is nothing going on between the king and I. You need to trust me. I'm telling you the truth. Okay. Thank you, my princess. Thank you. Have you noticed that my friend, Gongwan, has now been to the palace recently? Oh, yeah. I, I, I noticed that. And I've been meaning to ask you what happened with the princess. It's because she is um, pregnant for my father. What? The Goma, true, no fault of hers, is carrying my father's child. Hmm. Of course, I'm happy that you have forgiven me. Eh? <laughs> Oh uh, yes, but you know you have just one way um, to show me how much you have forgiven me. Yeah, I'll let you to have you here tonight. Yeah. Come on, boyfriend. Why this night? Why not tonight? I miss you. I love you. I want to spend the night with you. That's why. Listen, I have an alumni party at the presidential hotel later tonight. I know what. I intend to arrive when everyone is already seated. Spirit hard. I am afraid you will have to cancel, alright? I want you here tonight with me. Please. It's alright, fine. I'll be there. But that will be after the party, though. I'll be late. Huh? Okay, you know what? You go to the party, have fun. I'll leave an instruction at the entrance of the palace. So once you get here, they'll let you through. And I'll be waiting for you in my room. Sorry, my love. I'll be there, okay? See you. <laughs> I can't wait to have you here. <laughs> ah! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ega no daya. Mwakiji ugu na tinapa. I'm going to make you pay for tinapa. I, 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 I look tinapa. Eh, 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 Father. And you start talking. Start talking about what, Father? Why are you making passes at Madame Chica? <laughs> huh? Madame Chica. Uh, well, Dad. <laughs> Madame Chica is a beautiful active woman and I am a handsome active man why would you have a problem if I want to get down with Madame Chica has it ever occurred to you that you are the incoming king of this kingdom why are you doing everything to undermine royalty dad you're the king 
and I am the incoming king, Father. And for where I stand, you have more challenges or responsibilities to the throne, not me. <laughs> I take it therefore that you don't have a duty to be responsible as the prince of this land? Dad, is this necessary? Why are we having this conversation? Come on. <coughs> My princess, I haven't managed to have rest since you told me Ugunwa is pregnant for the cake. Okay, so now what are we going to do? The king is going to marry Ugunwa. What? There's no other way to it. Where I come from, I don't know about other places. The rule is <sighs> you put someone in a family way, you marry that fellow. And that rule, I intend to follow it to the letter. But, my princess, would the king be? Be ready to marry Ugoma. I mean, have you confronted him with this? And he's ready to make her his wife? He doesn't get to decide on this. <sighs> it's the right thing to do. He has no choice. If he refuses, then I will have to involve your mother. My father and my brother are dangerously disrespecting the high moral standards associated with royalty. And someone has to flog them back in line. Eh, but my princess, I you feel you that someone? I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You're not the one I came to see, so why am I here? Look at him, not the one you came to see. I mean, yes, you came to see the boy, and here you are ending up with the man. If I were you, I would be rejoicing. Mm -hmm. I am, but I'm confused, seriously. Sir, so I need to go because Omaya will be waiting for me and I know he will not sleep if I fail to see him tonight. Even I myself, I will not be able to sleep if you leave this room tonight. Don't worry about Oranye. He's my son. He knows how to take care of himself. He has access to all the maids in the palace. If he wanted a woman, all he needed to do would be to call one of the maids and take the maid into his room. That's all. Sorry. What are you saying to me, sir? You mean Oranye has been taking maids, like sleeping with them in this palace? Few hours ago. Just a few hours ago, I caught him red-handed asking my palace manager, the widow, who also manages the maids, to come to his room. As a matter of fact, I caught him holding her indecently. No, 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 please, please. This is not true. Like, why is he doing that? If you see him, you ask him. Because I don't know. But I know he's a boy. He's suffering from youthful exuberance. You're with the man. You know what? 
Stay with me tonight. Let me make you fulfilled. Me? Be with me tonight. And I will make you fulfilled. Come on, come on, come on. Please, he's calling me again. Uh, 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 uh. Can I at least just answer him and tell him I'm no longer coming? It's better than keeping him in the dark. Please. Now listen to me. The fact that he had the guts to ask my palace manager into his room means that he deserves some serious punishment. That's what he's suffering now. And let him finish. By tomorrow, we'll sort it out, okay? Hmm? Sir, please. I need to leave here before he wakes up. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, you'll be long gone by the time he's awake. He wouldn't wake up until about 10 o'clock. Oh, All that's right. perfect then. That's that perfect. means I must have gotten to my house even shower than... Yes, and <laughs> so, right. so keep your mind at rest and like... <laughs> oh, Bishop, 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 no! Bishop, no! Eh? We had an agreement. Okay, we had an agreement that you'll be here after the alumni party. Uh, listen, Bishop, as a matter of fact, I have called the guy that put together that party. Okay, and he told me that the party went well and has ended. You know, I am trying so hard to understand why you are calling me by this ungodly hour of the night when I am already very close to my hotel room. In fact, I'm in the hotel going to my room to catch some sleep. Why are you not sleeping? Bishop, I am calling you because I am stranded. Huh? Odogu is stranded. I'm calling her number. She's not picking. The phone is ringing. There's no response. That's why I'm calling you. That will only mean one thing that you know. She has possibly cornered another man who made better promises. That is women for you. They will always follow the one who made better promises. You know what? Find any how you can sleep this night. Tomorrow, I am going to send you two. Two very beautiful babes. Okay? Bishop, what are you talking about? Sleep anyhow, how? What are you saying? I need help. Eh? I cannot survive till tomorrow. I need to do something to calm down. It's a sleep anyhow till tomorrow. Eh? You cannot survive till tomorrow without something. You know what? I think you have to look within. Yes, there are maidens that work in that palace. And to the best of my knowledge, you have been exploring them one after the other. So, look around. There must be one that will solve your problem this night. Just follow that one and solve it. Tomorrow we can take care of everything. Good night, eh? Uh, Bishop. Hey. Bishop. Hey. If stranded was a person, Nene now, look at me. What do I begin to do? The one who knows how to give it to me in this palace has been fired. And the one who fired her, hey, the one who knows how to give it to me in this palace has been fired. And then the one who fired her is not even willing to give it to me. And Bishop is saying that I should survive this night. How? Look at me now. I don't want alcohol to go out of man. What am I going to do? Hey! Uh, hey! What am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? If he, if he, if he bonsak, if he bonsak, ah, ma 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 If if he her back is flat, may so my Jesus saves. Do I still have her number? Do I still have her number? Miss 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 Miss, Miss come through for me. Hey. Huh? Hello. <laughs> Long time. How are you now? I did not run away. You know I'm a prince. Uh, 
Royal duty always takes my time. Uh, where are you? I want to leave us this morning. You want to leave us this morning? Ha! Uh, nothing. I'll call you back. Uh, bye bye. No, you're wicked. <coughs> hmm? You're very, very wicked. Ah. See what you're carrying around in this palace. Ah. Carry this in around working here as a, as a worker. I call you to come and see me in my room. Hey, Jojo, what reason? You refuse to come. Is it good? You're wicked now. I'm ah. sorry I didn't come, my prince. Uh, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. I'm not angry. I'm just stating to you that you're very wicked. Well, uh, you need the reason this is your off, off, off shoulder top. Is this how they used to say it? Huh? Yes, my prince. Ha! Ah! be eh? When I tell you to come to the room, come. Why didn't you come yesterday night? My prince. Mm -hmm. I knew you needed a babe to go down with for the night. Uh, is it a bad thing? Is that a bad thing now? Huh? My prince. Yeah? That was the same thing Jiobo used to do that got her fired. Uh, oh, no, look, something else got her fired. That was not what got her fired. You don't understand how this is. Listen, look. You work here, right? Yes. Eh? After plenty work, what else? Is only Ike. Eh? <laughs> All work and no play makes you be a very rusty woman. You have to stop by sometimes and let me oil you up. You don't understand these things. See, see my hand is misbehaving. Uh, you come this night. Eh? Listen, you need my protection. I am the crown prince of this kingdom. Hmm? Eh? What I say is final. My father is in the palm of my hands. I am telling you the truth. You know? You know? You come this night, have you? Are you sure? Yes, my prince. Are you sure? Yes, my prince. Are you sure? Yes, my prince. What is good about this morning? Dad, what is this? Well, since you have run out of control and you have turned my palace workers to your bed warmers, I just thought that I should prevent this one from your imminent outbreak. Of course. Ah, I wouldn't be looking like that if I were you. I would be thanking my father for his ability to always rise to the occasion <laughs> to save situations. Situation. What stupid situation? Father! Huh? You're sleeping with my woman! Are you? Ah, disgusted. But you came to see me and somehow you missed your way to my room. I ended up in my father's room, slept with him all night. How low and how cheap can you be? Forever, I'll be baby. Mm -hmm. I'll call you there, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. <laughs> That's what she called. If I finally find out that things left with this babe, then I'll conclude with my Shah. How do you mean? Our king, come on. How do you mean? Come on, our king is a guy man. He knows what's up. I doesn't see him as someone who will be using charm to, to, to do this. I know. But last night, this girl came for the prince. In fact, the prince called me to tell me that his babe would be coming later in the night. Lo and behold, when she drove in, I saw the king outside. Do you know what? The king took her inside his room. You mean 
he took her in just like that? Is she that so stupid? That is why I say the king is using sham. The way he shammed this babe last night still surprises me. I said, shh! You are being too loud. You need to calm down. Brother, what you are saying is so disgusting. And I fear for what it might do to what's left of our family's image if I it ever gets out. I don't care. I don't care. This is the climax of it. Why would he do something like this? To Why? 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 Yeah, that's that's the thing. That's exactly what I've been saying. You need to capitalize on this and join me so that we can end this nonsense. We need to break that man. We need to get him a wife. Perhaps if father had a wife in this palace, he would have no cause to steal your visitor. You don't get it. You don't get it. This man committed a crime against me. A crime of character. Character assassination. How can he do a thing like that to me? All I have done is stand by him. Even when I know that he's not right. I protect him. Now he does this to me. Took my woman, sat her down and lied that I have been sleeping with palace mates. That's, that's not true. I mean, that's not a lie. Isn't that the reason Diogo was suspended and eventually fired? You and Daddy are on the same page. You're on the same boat. And now is the opportunity to end this nonsense. He's going to pay for it. Oh no, he's going to pay for it. Brother, you two deserve... You two deserve a wife. You need to get married. Because if you had your own wife, you would have no reason to call up a whore in the middle of the night. What? is it with you and name calling? Stop calling her a whore. She's not a whore. She's a whore. Damn right, she's a whore. Only a whore will come for the son and switch to the father the next minute. Don't you even try to defend her. You know, sometimes I begin to wonder how he became king in the first place. Have you ever thought about it? Mm -hmm. You think about it, right? About the same way I am wondering why you're not joining me to end all of this. What do you want me to do? What's going on? Why are you girls looking at me? Is there anything? Like, what's the problem? Do you know, if anyone had told me that you were this classless and pathetic, I wouldn't have believed it. Where is all this coming from? And please, why is she calling me names? We have the information that you went to the palace to be with the prince and ended up sleeping with the cousin of a king. What? I ask again, where is all this rubbish coming from? Sandra, you were a fool. You were a big fool, quote me. The same prince you made me to cancel my relationship with is the same one you went back to. Now hold it right there, Orange. I went to the palace to see my man. And my man is the king. Not your classless leftover prince that sleeps with all the maids in the palace. You! <clears throat> you that used to go to the palace to eat whatever you want to eat. Be careful though. I want to give you an advice. Be careful because all those maids that already see him as their toy, babe, they will poison you. Just be careful. What exactly are you trying to prove? That you were not there for the prince? We have spoken with your friends who were with you at the party. And they said that you confirmed to them that you went to see your man, the prince. Of <laughs> Um, because you're pathetically classless, you went to see this prince 
and the Casanova king cornered you into his room. You know what? You girls can believe whatsoever you damn please. I don't care. I have told you girls who I went to the palace to see. My man. So if you choose to believe differently, babes, the dice is yours. Permit me to slap sense in Try him now. Let me to the shout. Try him. Try it. Do you mean to say that what all the you? things written on the blocks are lies? Whatever. I am so ashamed of you. I detest you. Rubbish. She did that to pay me back, right? How do you feel now that the news is everywhere? That you share women with your own family? I don't think I've said anything wrong here. You called Sandra to spend the night with you and she ended up spending the night with you and your own father. Well, I'm the one that read what is written on the blogs. Whether they are right or wrong is none of my business. Anyways, I call to tell you that I am disappointed in you. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. In all honesty, my friends, mm. I'm not always comfortable doing it in private home. Are you serious? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on, baby. Hold on, hold on. Don't be too fast. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Nebuka. Mm -hmm. Come on. You promised to just pick the file you forgot. Yes, I did, but mm -hmm. just a quick one, okay? You know, it's been long we had a wide and fun, okay? Come <laughs> really, on. like, yeah. we're no fun anymore. No, that's not what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Just a quick one. Quick. I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. But I'm sorry to bust your bubble. That is not happening. Now you go in there. Pick up the file you okay. forgot and let's get the hell out of What is it? Who Damn. are those? Damn. Ebuka. Yeah. He isn't here, is he? Ebuka, tell me your friend is not here with one of his hers. In your house, Ebuka. I thought we had an agreement. Baby, we did. See, honestly, I just left him at the palace. I, I'm confused. I don't... Oh my God, Ebuka, I can't believe you. I just can't. Honey, do not create a scene here, okay? Just hold on. Trust me, I'm going to handle it. I'm coming. Okay, I'm just like, I'm not comfortable going to hotels. Uh, I'm friends. I need you to understand that there are certain places I cannot go. My prince! Uh, not again, my prince. Not again, now, my prince. Now, why are you doing this to me now? Why? Because I have somebody here listening with everything that's going on here. I need this. I, I should calm down. Calm down. Uh, uh, uh. My prince. My prince. Okay. It's okay, she's my friend, it's it's nothing. Eh. Baby. You know, I decided not to create a scene because you advised me not to. Now I'm waiting for the excuse you have to give. Baby, please. You know what? Can we? Can we just continue this discussion in the car? I beg of you, please. As in, you're not going to call him out and talk some sense into him? Ebuka, is that what you're trying to tell me? Baby, what are we going to tell Prince that will make sense to us? What? What are we going to gain from it? We already know that Orani has a problem. We already know that. Yes. And you still keep such a character as a friend. Oh, come on. Come on, Ebuka. We are planning to get married. You don't need such a loose person like that around you. Especially with all these dirty acts he's bringing into this house. Baby, you know what? <sighs> Calm down, okay? Please, can we just step outside and continue this discussion in the car? Please, can we go now? You know what, Ibuka? I'm what? not sure I'm interested in this discussion anymore. You say what? Like for real? 
Baby. Babe. Alright. Hey, Buka, what is it? Huh? You're beginning to sound like an ingrate. I gave you two million naira out of that money. I should make you happy. Huh? The money you sent to me from the 10 million naira the king gave to you to calm you down, you expect me to, to be happy or start praising you for what you did? Come off it, my prince. You should have gone to a hotel. Oh, yes. A hotel? Come yeah. On now, not after that scandal broke. Uh, hotel is out of it. Besides, you should be happy that I come here. Uh -huh. I should be happy. Of course I am not. As you're looking at me, I am not happy, my prince. How can you bring your horse into my house? And you know my woman doesn't like this, your attitude with too many women. She doesn't. Buka, what is going on now? Huh? Why did you start having a problem with me and the women? Huh? To the point where you now call the woman that you see with me. Oh, it's not right. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, my prince. I'm sorry for that word. But, my prince, you should try to understand that things have changed. Yes, I am engaged to be married now. And my woman feels very bad to see me with a man very notorious with too many women. <laughs> my prince, come to think of it. Do you have any idea the extent of the damage you caused in our relationship? Really? Do you? Relationship? <laughs> Ebuka. Relationship. Huh? That is all I hear these days. That's all you talk about since this lady walked into your life. Ebuka. Are you sure she has not traveled somewhere with your name? Oh, come off it, my prince. Stop twisting this topic. Stop it, please. I'm not changing the topic. Huh? I play, okay, fine, I play with women. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. But I play with women who are available to be played with. They enjoy it, they like it. Okay? And I haven't killed anyone. Neither have I hurt anyone yet. Come on. Like seriously? Oh, yes. Physically, you've not. But my prince, psychologically, <laughs> you have injured so many. <laughs> you might have actually killed plenty. Yes, too many of them. You know what, Ibuka, my time here is up. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, now nah, I cannot continue to sit here and swallow this well-tailored insult from me. It's enough. Okay, I'll stop coming here. Ah, have your peace with your fiance. Pick a date for the wedding, though, and let me know. I'll be there. I'll show up for you. That's the least that I can do for you as a friend. But oh, come on, my prince. Oh, 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 oh. my prince. It is, it's not what you think. My prince, it's not what you think. It hasn't got into this. God. Look, what in this world will I tell this guy to understand that I meant well for him? What? My prince. Nonsense. Give people a chance. They, they think they have a right to contribute to your life. For what? For what? Eh? On a little thing. Who does he think he is? Eh? Oh, because I'm nice. Because I'm accessible. Eh? Men are said that the prince in the echo. Not only a book I got, you bring yourself down. People still take it for granted. It's all right. No problem. <laughs> uh, no problem. What's the matter? My niceness. My niceness is the problem. A lot of people are beginning to take my leniency for foolishness. No, they actually think that I'm foolish. Can you imagine? What cannot be nice again in the times that we live in? I'm going to feature it. It's okay. I'll fix it. Wait a minute. Does your current mood have anything to do with what the bloggers have written? What blogger? 
I don't care about the blood. I, I, don't, I don't care whatever it is that they want to put up. They can go to hell and burn. I don't care. It's Ebuka. Yes. I want Ebuka. 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 <laughs> Ebuka. <laughs> Ebuka. You know him. Ebuka. My own Ebuka. Ebuka that I practically carry. I buy shoes for myself. I buy shoes. Mm. I buy boxes for myself. I buy for Ebuka. Sure. I buy singlet for myself. I buy for Ebuka. Ebuka once had body odor. I'm, I'm the one that, that, that treated it. Why? Because he's my friend. And I have a good heart. Now Ebuka look me in the face and insult me. Well tailored insult. Why? Because I left the palace and I went to his house to sit down. No one. No problem. Can you go see Nozio or I'll treat his fuck up. Well, this is laughable. Why are you, why are you laughing? How is this funny? <laughs> well, considering the, the ceaseless insults that you and dad bring upon this um, household. <laughs> It makes sense that I give Ebuka a pat on the back whenever I see him. <laughs> I, I, I'm lost. Wait. Are we talking about the same Ebuka? No, excuse me. Are, are we... Do you even know what I'm talking about? Ebuka already called me. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. And I know for a fact that you're this offended because a man like you wants to do the right thing for himself. Ebuka wants to live it decent, responsible lifestyle. And you're offended by that. You're offended that he has asked you to stop bringing your endless women to his house. Eraba, Ebuka, 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 Ebuka. Have you no shame, brother? You know my problem with you? Tell me. You don't know what to shut up. Oh. You don't know when to mind your business. I know when to shut up. I do, brother. Shut up. I know when to shut, shut up. up. I am here I'm pouring my heart out. And this is what you can tell me. Right? It's hard to shut up when you and daddy are the matters arising every now and then. I mean, why would I shut up when <laughs> I'm here? I'm one of you. I owe it to you two not to shut up. As a matter of fact. You know that I have been begging you. <laughs> to do what? To get money. <laughs> So that you can get out. Every day, men troop to this palace asking for your hand in marriage. Tall, short, black, poor, rich. Marry one of them and leave us alone. Just marry and get out. Marry. But no, you will not marry. You want to remain here. Eh? Till you cross your biological clock. Your satisfaction will be to torment me and daddy. Stay out of my will. I'm beginning to get tired of your bitchiness. <laughs> Listen, brother. <laughs> if Ebuka is your friend, something I want you to do. What? Learn from him. Be like Ebuka. No, why? Ebuka is a good man. Decent in his ways. You should make him your role model. Why? Because you're nothing like him and I think you should be like him. No, I cannot be like him. I don't intend to be celibate. What are you talking? Ah, I have to be using my waist. She'll be like him. That guy's a true man. What are you man? He does not know nothing. Yes. I am in my prime and I'm enjoying my life. I have to. You gotta go. It's not possible. I have to be using my waist. Yeah. What are you talking about? Oranye, Oranye, you ought to be ashamed. Oranye, you hear me, Kennedy? Ah ah. Ah, uh, that's my princess, huh? Hi, Dad. <laughs> that's my girl. Ah, uh, hey, 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 princess. Uh, are you now avoiding your father? Hmm? 
Daddy, what are you talking about? I've been here for a while. Now I'm just going to my room. Well, uh, my impression is that you now hate me so much you wouldn't even take notice of my health challenges. Mm -hmm. Health challenges? What's wrong? When did you start? Have, have you seen the family it's okay, doctor? It's okay, it's okay. Um, I'll be fine. I'm just overwhelmed by a whole bunch of stuff in my head. Uh, you know, I really have to talk to you. If you don't mind. About what? <clears throat> about what? Well, about a whole bunch of stuff that's been going on in our family. What is it? Too many things. Believe me, I try. I try to change. I try to do the right thing. But, uh, I... but nothing, Father. Nature has identified your problem and has solved it through Ugonwa's pregnancy. Oh. Here we go again. Listen to me, my dear daughter. I cannot marry your friend. Oh, really? We're going to do this again, huh? <laughs> it's not even about accepting the pregnancy. I just cannot marry her. It's not possible. So, what happens when you don't marry her? I bet you will revert to your old self. You will continue to do as you have been doing. Like you did with that whore that came to see your son. Daddy, I know your problem. It's that man. Mm. That man and his negative spirit. And let me tell you something. You will continue to run around in circles if you don't quit hanging in the company of that kind of man. It's okay. Um, dear daughter, let's leave Bishop, my friend, out of this. Why do we have to leave him out of this discussion? He's nothing but a bloody nuisance. One that has no place in this palace, in this family. He just keeps milking you dry and helping you drag our family name in the mud. You need to stay away from him, Daddy. He's not good for you. I take it therefore that you are not even going to allow me to say what I wanted to say. You will not drag me into a frivolous talk when you deliberately and technically shy away from an important topic. Excuse me, Daddy. Children of the 21st century. They are in charge. Your mother don't need to be this me. Thank you. 
Baby? I'm surprised to see you. Well, it's weekend and I normally spend my weekends here. Oh, sure, but sure. But if sure. you have any other thing arranged, I can't... No, 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 my love, no. That's not what I mean, okay? I'm fine. Okay, good yeah. question, love. Do you know ready to you? so so sorry i should have not allowed him to come over i never knew he would do something like that please you do know Ibuka. you do you guys have been friends since like forever and you tell me you didn't know he would do this what kind of a bullshit is that well, well i get it all right see you're already angry fine i'm sorry but look baby you've got to cut down on your weird assumptions about the prince trust me that guy is a very nice guy when you get to know him Believe me. I do know him all right, Ebuka. I do. Remember when we first met? How apprehensive and all I was. God, it was even so hard to say yes to you for a common date. And that was because of him. And that didn't teach you anything. I know, but... No. I trust you, but that trust is always questioned whenever you're with him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Babe, you don't trust me? Just when you're with him. You've got to really work hard in this trust issue on me because you can't be judging me based on my friend's behavior. No, 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 no. You have to give me more than that. Your friend? Your friend, you say? That means you're not even anywhere close to stop being friends with him. Chioma, can you just stop? Can you just stop? Hold on, let me get it. Are you trying to tell me to choose between you and my friend? No, no, I won't do that. Because I already know what to do. I'm not going to choose between you two. Alright? See, you should learn how to <laughs> tolerate some things he's going to do. Yes. Oh, wow. So there's going to be a repeat. Just wow. Chama, can you just stop? You are being ridiculous here, baby. Stop. See, you don't know Prince very well. What that guy has been through and what he's battling with. Just the little ugly sides of him, you know. But trust me, Prince is a nice guy. Do you know what that guy has been through? He has been through so much. Me, myself, I'm even surprised he, that he hasn't broken down. Honestly. Look, look, Ibuka. I don't care what he has been through or not. All I am trying to let you know is that... Your friendship with him is going to cost you dearly if you don't put an end to it. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Baby, what did you just say? Babe? I'll be sorry. Are you threatening to break up with me? Come on, babe. No. Babe! <laughs> babe! Listen, I don't know why you are flaring up. I've told you several times, anytime you call me, settle down and speak like a civilized citizen. Yes, there's a problem, I know that. And I told you I am handling it my end. Why can't you understand that? Hey, listen, listen. Do not rush to take the laws into your own hand because you are going to regret it. You will regret it and then you will begin to look for somebody you will blame and not blame yourself. You know what? I will go. I will have to call you back. There is a lady that just came in to me now, and um, I don't like the way she's looking. So I will have to call you back. Let me let me attend to her, and then I will call you back, and I will attend to you. Zina, what is it? Why are you putting up this attitude before me? I should be asking you, Bishop. Sure. I don't understand anything. What is happening? Where? You don't call me anymore. Neither does Omega. What is happening? Is it possible for you to calm down? 
and I will begin to explain. Can you? Should I? Yes. Because it seems you have suddenly replaced me with someone else. That the king couldn't as little as bother to pick up his phone whenever I call. Much less call back. Hmm. Who the hell is that you brought to him that kept him grounded? You know, the, the kind of funny words you use at times, you know, I get confused. Grounded. Now you believe there is a woman who can actually get the king grounded. Listen, Zina, you are the one who started all these problems. I took you to the king for you to go there and do what you can do and collect the money you can collect. Instead, you went to the palace and started falling in love with the king. To the extent you told me to my face that the king is now your property. How is that possible? Do you know even know the king we are talking about? We are talking about the Solomon of Obodenu. A man who is the Casanova king. Who is changing his women as if they are handkerchief. That is the man that uh, you now want to come and uh, uh, exercise ownership over. Listen, if you have killed this love nonsense, that you have now decided you want to go back to the palace and continue from where you stop, then I will make up my mind and I will take you back to the king. That is just as simple as that. Okay? That's it. What is this news that trended last few days? <laughs> so, so that's where we are going now. Okay, no problem. The news is nonsense. Just useless bloggers writing rubbish online to drag traffic to their various sites. Maybe something is telling them that was how Linda started. That's what they believe. That's what they are writing nonsense. Okay, I need an update on that cost friend of the princess. What is the king doing about her? Adjutu Akare, what is the king doing about her? You know what? If you are prepared, I will take you to the palace. Then you can ask the king that. Ask him, uh, Onyeze, what are you planning about this girl? Don't you hear To the best of my knowledge, I have not met you two before. So why are you girls in my house, ranting like mad dogs? Exactly who we are. Mad ladies who can go all out to do with us. What are you saying? What we are saying is, King Solomon of Obodenu is our man. But you heard that? He is our man. And you must stay far away from him. Yes. If you don't want to lose your life, you must stay far away from King Solomon. Do not force us to pay you this visit again, else you will pay with your life. Do not force us to pay you this visit again. Let's go. It's unbelievable. What in the world gave them the effrontery? Please, stay with her. No matter what happens, stay with her for I am going to end this mess. Don't leave her side. Don't just stay. Don't you think you're too committed to this job? Why are we not really committed, Nkumi? This is a job that pays me well. Of course I'll be committed. Where is my father? My princess, he's in his chambers, but he said not to be disturbed. Princess. Yes. 
I'm sorry, you can't go in there. The king placed an order not to be disturbed, and you know what that means. I'm sorry. That's what he said. Get out of my way. My princess! Oh, my beautiful baby. Well, you should be in the bathroom here with me eh, while I wash your body clean. Just take all the time you need, Your Majesty. I'll be right here waiting. I'm ready for you to do to me what you so desire. I know, right? You're just one sex silly person. And I'm your king, right? Oh, that you know, Your Majesty. Dad? And I'm your king, right? And, uh, what the hell is going on here? I'm sorry, your father. Dad! I am... Uh... What is this? Buddy, what are you doing here? Oh. I will do the question. Daddy, what is this thing doing here in your room? And how many times could I warn you to know your place in this palace? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, kitty cat, off you go. Get out of my father's room. Hey, hey, Stop don't, don't, don't my hand do that job. Get out of my dog. father's room. What are you doing? Let me go. Moody, don't hurt that girl. You are disgustingly despicable! You hear me? Disgustingly despicable! So you were fully aware of what my father was doing in his room and with whom he was chilling! How dare you! I'm sorry, my princess. I was only following orders. You foolish idiot obeying foolish orders! Now listen to me and listen good! I never, ever want to see any maiden come to this palace and enter my father's room! Do you hear me? Take this message and pass it on to all of your colleagues. If you flaunt these orders, you are fired. You understand? Get out of my sight! Why is everyone making this dumb so difficult for me? Everyone with their own orders. Which then will I obey? What has gotten into you, Moody? What, what is it? What has gotten into me? Jerry, that question should be directed right back at you. What has gotten into you? What manner of demon has possessed you to this point where you cannot behave yourself anymore? Look at you, Daddy. Picking and sleeping with girls that are old enough to pass off as your daughters. Now well, that is my life. You will not tell me how to live it. <laughs> you are going to have to show me a dictionary that clearly depicts this lifestyle that is everything wrong. On one hand, there is Ugonma who is pregnant and carrying your child. On the other hand, there is still you, same you, daddy, picking and sleeping with young girls. Life is enough! How many times am I going to tell you that that pregnancy is not mine? <laughs> you are going to eventually stop throwing that dice at me because it's not going to fly. As far as you of all people, condescended as low as going for my friend pressured her so much so that her threshold for resistance failed i will believe her a billion times over you this has got to stop you did the crime daddy you do the time you are going to marry ugoma whether you like it or not I am going to marry Goma as what? A dead man. No. 
as a daughter who has taken it upon herself to get her father to do the right thing, you are going to marry Ugonwa. Daddy, I have had just about enough of your essences and I am more than ever so serious in my gimmicks to get you to behave and do the right thing. You will marry Ugonwa. Take her as your wife and save us the goddamn misery. I don't get it, I mean, I mean, why would a daughter be talking to the father like she was the mother? I mean, that girl has gone completely mad. She has gone psycho. Look at the way she talks to me. Is she even aware of what I'm capable of doing as a king? Well, Dad, I can understand that you're angry. But we can't blame her now. We're all looking out for you, Dad. This whole thing has gone on for too long. As a matter of fact, we don't even care. Come, you get married to right now. We just want all of this to come to an end. It's about time, Dad. Look at it that way. <laughs> oh, you too. Ah, oh, come to think of it. Where does your own opinion factor in, in all of this? Because as far as I'm concerned, you're worse than I am. If you put it that way, Dad, I'll say that I've been following your footsteps. Oh yes, Dad, you haven't been much of a father to us. Much less an advisor. You just do what you want to do when you want to do it. Well, today is not a day for all of that, Father. We, as a children, we are asking you to put an end to this now. Put an end to this lifestyle, Dad. Please. You do know for sure that you cannot tell me what to do. You cannot tell me how to live my life. I have my life to live. You live yours. True, Father. I agree. But you should, in my humble opinion, Pay more attention to your life. You're not just our father. You, you are a king. You are the king of Obodeino. You represent this kingdom. You're the first citizen of this kingdom. People look up to you. Okay, so that's where you see it. In that case, this discussion is over. Get out of my room. Get out. Get out before I do something silly that you would not like. Get out of my room! And you tell your sister that whatever she's concocting will not work. Useless boy. This is why I wanted this to be between us. I begged you. I pleaded with you. I was only trying to help. Help by getting me married to your father. And I told you I don't want to marry him. Even if he's the last man I come in contact with on earth, what makes you feel I want to marry him? What? You're carrying his child. This child is mine and mine alone. I can take care of this child. Did I ever tell you I was handicapped to do so? It is you who keep pushing and pushing. Now look at where you've landed us. If you had kept this between us, all this wouldn't be happening. Only God knows what they are going to do to her. She's not even that rich that they would want to have her for some collateral. 
She'll be fine, Mimi. She'll be fine. <laughs> you don't know that. See, I know you're trying to convince me and all that, but you just don't know. She was kidnapped right before my very eyes, right in front of me. Listen, I have spoken with the police area commander and he says we should stay by our phones and be at alert because any moment now they will call demanding ransom. Why ransom on our head? Why? What did she do to deserve something like this? It's gonna be alright. It'll be fine. She slept. Yes. Just now. Oh, that's good. She needs it. Yeah, we all need rest. These past days have been hectic. Yeah. Do you think she's telling the truth? Because I don't buy it. They took her and along the way they found out she wasn't the one they wanted and they pushed her out. Just like that. <laughs> that sounds so good to be true. I won't lie, I have my doubts too, but I really don't want to doubt her. Why? Because she's pregnant with your father's child? Yes. Yes, that's why. Ugoma has been through a lot these past days. And the likelihood of her going through a lot more is there. So, whether the story that she just gave us is true or false, I don't care. I am very, I am very happy that she is. She's alive safe and sound i'm fine with that funny but i think it's high time she left here how do you mean really you are going to ask that She's in great danger. I don't know who did what they did today, but that person could have gotten clean if something bad had happened to her. The other day, it was your father's women. And let me not even go into what she goes through when she leaves this house. People staring at her like some lunatic who slept with an older man. And today, this. She needs somewhere safe. So where she can sleep and do that with her boot eyes closed. Huh. You and I are thinking in the same direction. I know what to do. <sighs> Better. have been very stupid for you, but not this time. What the hell? 
is she, is she doing here? Daddy, she's here to stay. Oh. She belongs here, Daddy. And please do not give her some heat. Because she has been through a lot these past days. She's in pretty bad shape. She needs a roof over her shoulder. She needs a roof over her head. And not just any roof. A safe roof. This palace guarantees her safety more than any other place in the world right now. So would you please calm down? I should accord her what? Are you, are you out of your mind? You took a decision to bring in a stranger into my palace? And you think I cannot talk about it? I think you should accord her some safety and respect. You know why, Daddy? Because she's carrying your child. And that makes her no stranger. Here we go again. Listen to me. Before I open my eyes that I'm going to close, I want her out of my palace! She is not going anywhere. Now, she's here to stay. What? When you say, it's like the test of life that has patched on balls. Killing it requires a great deal of wisdom. Well, oh no, you seem to be missing the point. The young woman we're talking about here is no less a person than my own daughter. My own daughter in whom I am well pleased. She's doing well for me in my businesses, managing my online stocks, including those of the New York Stock Exchange, running into millions of dollars. So why would I want my own daughter dead? I wouldn't want her dead. I equally do not want her dead. Who would want me dead? She is a great asset, not just to you, but the whole of the day. She's the kind of girl every man prays to have as a daughter. Yes, you know, you're right, but she's overstepping her boundaries. Look, that's why I invited you here. You see, Tradition has placed so much power on her as the Ada. And even more so, she can assume the role of a mother to her own father if her father is presumed to have lost it. Oyezi, you have hit the nail on the head. With all due respect, you lost it. We need to allow the young woman to do her modern duties. Probably even flogging you back. But no, I beg your pardon. That is an insult, and you know it. The same way we have been struggling over the years to suppress the body of kingmakers of Obodemu from taking drastic measures against you for all the insults you've been heaping on us. Oh no. Let me explain something that you don't seem to understand. I am the king and I am living my life. I have not abdicated my responsibility as king. Listen. All of our security contributions to the state are paid as at when due. Something other communities are struggling to achieve. I am in the good books of the governor. And the last time I checked, I said today, Obodenu is ranked number one 
amongst all the communities. What have I done wrong? You're in the good books of the governor. Are you in the good books of the ancestors? I doubt it. And that is what that young woman is trying to achieve. Take it easy on her before she fully involves the Umada. Let me tell you what will happen. If the Umada are fully involved, they will pull away from the body of people. And that's an automatic vote of no confidence. Meaning, you will cease to be king. And I don't think you would want that to happen, would you? So how do you like your new room? Um, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it might not be the best. I mean, I took a couple of wild guesses. I got creative, imaginative, and finally I came up with that. I'm hoping that it pleases you. Oh, it's... It's fine. <laughs> hey. Hey. You're fine here. No one will hurt you here, I promise you. I know. Just that... I don't think this is right. What is it? Being here, living here, it doesn't feel right. I don't feel some kind of way. I know your father doesn't want me to stay here. So I feel I should go get a place and stay. I am sure I will be... Nonsense. That is absolute nonsense. Nonsense that I will not allow to happen. You belong here. You are going nowhere. You know, I've been thinking of um, getting Madame Chica to hire a personal maid for you. Because you need it. I don't think that would be necessary. I mean, Madame Chica. This, this way she looks at me, I feel she doesn't like me or oh, something. Oh, please. Another nonsense. You should regard whatever foul thoughts you have going on in your head. Discard all of it. Who likes you, doesn't like you, looks at you somehow, looks at you. Stop it. I think you should begin to settle into your new life. Hmm? Hmm? All right now. I saw the way you looked at my friend. What's that about? Oh, nothing, my princess. Just that I'm shocked that she can accept to be married to a man who is father to her friend. It doesn't tell all of her at all, honestly. Well, the man who is father to her friend forgot his fatherly position in her life and slept with her and now she's pregnant. My father is going to marry Goma. You should get used to that fact. Else you will fall out with me. But my princess, if you force your father to his death because of one girl who looks like a schemer to me, what will you gain? Where is this coming from? Who says my father is about to die? And why call my friend a schema? Oh, sorry, I didn't expressly call her a schema. I only said she looks like one. And trust me, I, I still feel the same way. And so as for the king, my princess, you're punishing him too much. And it has started to weigh him down already. You know, it's possible that you have something to do with my father. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that will explain 
you are. Line of thought on this topic. But I do not care for it one bit. You understand? My father is not going to die for being corrected, no. He won't. And don't you ever call my friend a schema ever again. That emotional card that you're playing, it will work with me. Because I'm not one to fall for emotional blackmail. I know. You are my friend and her friend too. Even though things haven't been all jolly between you two, you are doing the right thing. I really appreciate that. And um, I've been meaning to ask, were you aware that her brother was missing? Yes, though he has been found. Wait. You were not aware. Look, I know I shouldn't be saying this, but you should watch Ugoma closely. I think there is something or some things she doesn't want us to know, but I don't know. This is a critical moment for her, and we should look out for her. Okay, good to hear that. Are you really not going to acknowledge my presence? What did you say? Your presence? What are you playing at exactly? What, you're trying to buy your way into this family? Is that what you're trying to do? You must really think that I'm as naive as my sister. You see this? You can try it with my sister, not me. What did I what did I actually do? She also think I'm faking my pregnancy. Oh well, that brings the question. Are you faking it? Perhaps you are faking it. My brains are how could you think that of me? I'm not faking it. Lower your voice. For I know you're kind. I know what you're capable of. I know women like you. Whatever it is that you're planning will not work. For you don't know me. I am more than what you see standing right in front of you. I'm not your regular kind of guy. Stay away from my father and stop trying to impress me because I have not even been able to impress myself. Okay, so quit trying. Yes, hello? Yeah, who is this? Ebuka Ogere, what is it? What? Ha! 
Okay, okay. Where? Where is... I'm not faking it. Why is it so tough? Yet... So weak. I can't believe you told him. She came here for a reason. Don't you think if she wanted to see him, she would have gone to the palace? Uh, trust me, babes. See, all what Sharon needs now is the prince's shoulder to lean on. Okay? And she will be fine. Trust me. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. My prince. Where is she? My prince. Where is she? Don't, don't tell me what to do. Tell me where she is. Where is she? This. Remembered what you once said of him. I never knew he had a heart. Uh, so here, let me tell you something. Eh? Every man has something that keeps him grounded. Okay? And for Rani, Sharon is that thing. That is why when she left him to get married, it cannot ruin him. Seriously. But he's, it's his fault she left. I mean, he could have married her. He has the capacity to marry any woman he wants. Well, his monsters weren't letting him to do so. Yeah. If you love someone to pieces, you would fight the monsters to be with that person. Uh, baby, see, there is a lot of the prince you don't know about. Okay? Trust me, when you get when you really get to know him, Prince is a nice guy. Yeah, you will like him. I hope so. Well, uh, enough of the points. Uh, <laughs> why don't you come and give me a massage? Okay? <laughs> yeah. Come here. That's not what I mean. Come over here. <laughs> not here. <laughs> <laughs> Little help in the kitchen. Come on, sit. Mm -hmm. I am sure you're going to enjoy this. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> That's the aroma I was perceiving on the way upstairs. Oh. Uh, I bet it's yummy. But we we'll go. Uh -uh. You're not trying to discourage me, please. Just hold on. You know, 
there are people hired to do these things. Cooking and washing and cleaning. <clears throat> you don't have to stress yourself with these chores. You need to relax. I know my princess, but I choose to do it. Besides, I've been sitting around the whole house doing nothing. So I decided to jump on the opportunity to get peace. Relax while I say some. You will enjoy it. <laughs> I'm glad it turned out great. Going by the aroma. Yeah. You put in water. Wow. Okay. Adora! Come! Tell my brother that lunch is served. My princess, the prince is not around. He's not? Yes, my princess. Where is he then? Um, I have not seen him since yesterday. Um, actually, Modi, he was a little bit upset when I saw him leaving the house yesterday evening. I think he's pissed at something or someone. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Pissed. Since yesterday? Yes, my princess. I'm not going to let you. Prince, my prince. I'm not going to let you go there to do anything stupid. Get I'm not. Way. Get up, my Emuka, get up, my What are you going there to do? What? What are you going there to do? Going there to hit him until he comes back to his senses. If need be. He had no right whatsoever to do that to Sharon. He doesn't, and you also don't have the right to start getting angry over nothing. Remember, you gave up. No, I did what was right at the time. For whom? For yourself. My prince, this girl loved you. She loved you, even your flaws. What did you do? You gave up to someone else, and now you are getting unnecessarily angry. You're a coward. You're not a coward. Ebuka, I'm not a coward. I did what was best for her all the time. Oh, my prince, can you stop twisting all these things to, to, to shoot you? You gave up even when she didn't want you to. You already made the decision to let her go. Yes. I don't know what you're doing. Get off my way. Get off my way and watch what comes out of your mouth next. Or what? Or what, my prince? What are you going to do? Run me over? Hit me! My prince. I know you, and I know the goodness in you. But you've just allowed your father's darkness to overtake you! Don't, 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 don't do it! Don't you dare insult my father! Don't bring him into this! There he goes. I know you will always defend him! I know! But where has that gotten you to? Uh, where? See, you just helped Sharon to make the worst mistake of her life, and she has paid dearly for it. Shut up! Alright? Shut up and let me go! Shut up! Fine, I hurt her, alright? But I'm willing to fix it! I am going to fix it! You're not going anywhere. Get off my way. No, I'm not. Get! I'm not letting you go! Get! My prince! Why does it appear to be a reoccurring decimal? Men will never value the one who truly loves them. They will always give her the wrong attitude and end up with a demon who will kill them without remorse. The heart of men is the only thing people refer to. Nobody has ever referred to the heart of a woman. The truth is that the heart of a woman is the summation of everything. Sharon, are we still talking about you and the prince, or is there somewhere else you have gone to that I don't know of? I'm trying to find a better way to say this, so you can understand it without reading meaning into it. Sharon, what is it? I mean, you know you can confide in me, right? I'm in love with the prince. I love him with everything in me. I love him to the extent that I can lay down my life for him. If, if you 
really in love with the prince this much, then why is your relationship with him crumbling? I am connected to the prince in a way that his future as the next king of this land depends on our relationship. How do you mean? Somehow, I feel the throne is in danger. And I'm the only one that can salvage the situation. But the one I love is not giving me a chance. Sharon, you're beginning to sound weird. How do you mean? I just love the prince. That's all I have to say. I wish I understand what that truly means. You know, you're actually gorgeous, you know. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> All right, take a seat. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, Your Majesty, that is why I am here. It's okay. Your Majesty, I really need you to help me. It's Honestly, okay. right now, I'm at a crossroad. Please, Your Majesty. It's okay, my darling. You don't have to be frustrated or stressed out you know, because of these minor things. Uh, I will handle it for you. You will? Uh, is that not why you are here? <laughs> of course, I'll do it for you. But I can't remember the last time it became mandatory for the king's signature to be upon a local government identification letter. I don't know. Your Majesty, it's for people like us. People seeking for job in high places. Huh. That means I must have a pile of such letters on my table in the office. Wow. It's okay, no, no, no worry. I will uh, Yes, yes, yes. The same King Solomon that you know. We don't change. Yes, I wanted to ask for a favor. All right. In another minute, sir. Thank you. So how did it go? Amazingly well. Funny enough, it's, it was so good. So I take it that you were able to meet with him? Yeah, I did. And you know what? Talk to me. He's such a nice person. <laughs> so kind. Wow. He's also an attentive listener. Really? Babe. Yeah. Honestly, you were right. You know the king never knew that such stipulation was required. Wow. You needed to have seen his face when I told him. He was so, so surprised. <laughs> I told you, you would have been here waiting for the impossible ah. while he's out there jumping and passing letters. So, when are you getting it? Well, um, he called the chairman in my presence. Okay. So I guess I have to go home over the weekend and see if he has done it. Nice one. Mm -hmm. So as it is right now, uh, one is out of the plate. Mm -hmm. If we can cross out. Yeah. So, to the next one. Mm. Time to relieve <laughs> stress. Yeah, and um, we can do it right now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mister, that was not what I meant at all. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Well, I 
that will make you feel really good. Mm -hmm. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. You know I like it. That's why you're doing it. Stop it. <laughs> Majesty, Your Majesty, I am so happy. Well, you deserve more. Because <sighs> I, I took a second look at you and I told myself, why would you apply for a position so low? You see, this position that I just put you, that's where you deserve. That's where you're supposed to be. <sighs> lady as smart, as beautiful, and intelligent like you. Deserve to be here. Oh, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, you are an angel in disguise. I've heard that before. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I really appreciate. Seriously, babe. I never knew good people still exist in this world. Honestly, whoever told me that the king of Obodenu Kingdom will go all out for me, I wouldn't believe it. Hmm, I know, right? <sighs> Honestly, I'm so, so happy. And I'm relieved too. I just wish you were here so that we can celebrate. Please do, okay? I miss you so, so much. And you know I love you. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting, okay? All right, see you soon. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Look at you both. <laughs> How are you? We're fine, Your Majesty. Yeah. Your Majesty, mm -hmm. meet my fiance, Ozona. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> Babe, meet His Majesty. Yeah. The Almighty King Solomon of Obodenu Kingdom. Yes. <laughs> it's my utmost pleasure to meet you, Your Majesty. Uh, I've really heard of your good works, which you've extended towards my girl here. And I'm so grateful. Well, <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, it's in our nature, by virtue of who where God has placed us, you know, as a father to everybody. Yeah. Uh, so it's a good one. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, please, welcome to my humble abode. Sit down. Uh, <laughs> and that is why we're here. Uh, like, I don't know how to say thank you. Because, uh, you did way beyond what was expected. It's as if you took upon the, 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 the problems of your own daughter. And, and, I'm, and I'm so grateful. Well, my young man, uh, like I told you in our brief intro, I remember mentioning the fact that she's my daughter. By the fact that she's the daughter of the Automatically she becomes my own daughter. Yeah. And by that, her problems automatically become my problem. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. <laughs> they are not much my king, but to whom help comes from should be appreciated. So um, I would uh, plead that you accept this little appreciation for your benevolence. <laughs> uh, this is quite much. I would have thought that the money you expended in all of this 
Oh, but I've been put together to take care of this beautiful woman and God. <laughs> Your Majesty, believe me, he does just that. Yeah, he takes good care of me. Ozona here is so caring. He's so sweet. So, uh, oh, sit down, sit down. How long have you been together? Mm, we'll be four years old in eight months. We just got engaged last year. Just last year? Yeah. Mm. So, what is holding the coming together? <laughs> We're working on that. <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. Uh, and I hope that uh, when you finish working on that, I will get an invite. Ooh, of course, Your Majesty. For sure. Majesty. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> you will be invited. I mean, what about advice, my dear young man? Where are you from, my dear? Ikidioba oh, Kingdom. Ikidioba here? Yes, Your Majesty. Uh, now you have to hold this woman very well. Mm -hmm. Never let her out of your sight. Otherwise, you lose her to these marauding vultures. <laughs> and you, you keep on smiling like this. <laughs> I keep that in mind, my sister. I keep that in mind. <laughs> Be like that. Whatever he said, he said it in good faith. Well, I, I, I didn't mean otherwise. But you know how I hate hearing people making such damn interests. Also, mm. you know I love you, right? Believe me, you are not going to lose me. Not to anybody. Whatever he said, he meant well. So please just wave off whatever it is he said. Please. Please. It's just the, it's just the uncanny feelings. Look at me. I love you. Believe me, whatever he said, he meant well. Well, I'm just so happy you talked me into doing this. And then you come in with me. Oh. <laughs> I love you. You just have to be happy. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you are. Thank you. So happy for you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, we'll get something ready. You are not going anywhere, Uso. You are not going anywhere until we have talked about this. Stop it. Stop, stop praying for the impossible. I told you we are done talking about this! Mm, really? <laughs> Uzo, you have to tell me. Are you seeing her? Are you seeing that girl? Tell me! Barbara? Barbara? Mm -hmm. Stop it! Really? You get me? Stop this attitude! You have to answer me now, Uzo. Are you seeing that girl? Barbara, don't you ever get tired? I mean, don't you ever get tired? I have told you, I don't have anything to do with her! But that was not what you told me! You said you are not going to dignify my claims by giving me an answer. And I'm asking you now, Uzo. Are you seeing that girl? Tell me what is going on! Are you seeing her Stop behind it! her back? Stop it! Stop it! Why all this nagging? Can I just tell you something? You're just so impossible. Get out of my way! Uso! Did he just push me? Uso! Run! Run! You must 
come and meet me in this house. We will talk about this. Can you imagine? <laughs> so you decided to come home with us? I'm talking to you. Well, well. Also, it must be this night. Can you imagine? You went out with God knows whom to God knows where. I went out with no one. You can call Fred and ask him. I should call Fred. Also, I will not call Fred. That's why we just cover up your lies upon lies. So no, I will not call Fred. Believe whatever you want to believe. I only went out to have so long time with him. And then table our matter to them so that they can give you ideas on how to cover up your lies. Also, you know what? Oh. You can believe whatever you want to believe. But I'll tell you something. I don't care anymore. I need to have some rest. Look at you. Both of you are drunk. You cannot run away from this. You can run all you want. But you see this matter, we must trash it out. We must trash it out. When you think you're... Ozo! Ozo! Come back here! Leave the door. Hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm fine, Your Majesty. Hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> This same man, this same man. What business you have to do with him? Excuse me? <laughs> he calls me every day. God knows how long you go on laughing with him, chatting with him. Barbara! Uso. What is going on? Going on where? Uso, what are... Oh, oh, oh. Uso. Barbara. Are you trying to say that I have something going on with the king? I should be, you should be, you, 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 you should be telling me that. You should be telling me that, do you? So, so. Barbara! Stop it! Tell me something. Oh, so because you cheated on me, you now think that a good man who calls me, a good man who helped me achieve my goals, <laughs> that I now have something to do with him? Also! Well, I, 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 I never said so. I never said so. I only, I, I only asked a simple, simple, harmless question. What that is what why you twist the things? Why you twist the things? You implied it. Also, how can you accuse a man of having another sort of business other than a father daughter relationship? Also, Barbara, this is unfair. Is that why he calls you at all hour and you don't even break an eyelid before picking his calls? You see? That is what you mean! You've just nicked out. But you know what? I will be so glad to disappoint you. Because right now, I have other important business to attend to. I don't have to stand here and chit chat with you. Excuse me, I just have my phone. Oh, oh really? Barbara? You only... Hey, come here! Come here! My Barbara. <laughs> Good afternoon, Your Majesty. <laughs> oh, Barbara, how are you? I'm Barbara, fine, Your Majesty. No, I can see what is going. Ah, 
for you. Settle it is. You're looking so good, your majesty. Well, here you come again with your flat phrase. Oh. Huh? <laughs> well, you can say that again. Um, why are you here? Because the last time I checked, I know for sure that you were not going to be visiting us so sometime in the end of the year. Oh, yeah, I remember I said that. But plans change, don't they? I came to visit my family, so I decided to surprise you. Well, I am indeed pleasantly surprised. <laughs> uh, I guess, uh, Uzon has finally manned up to the midfield. Hmm? Uh, I wish, Your uh, Majesty. Oh, uh, uh, there we go again. So it's still the same? Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I am tired. <laughs> Osona gets irritated by everything I do. Nothing I do pleases him anymore. Your Majesty, at this point, I am tired. Honestly, I, I, I am tired. It's okay. That's unfortunate. Um, you see, you actually deserve more. You deserve better. You deserve to be treated right by the right one. You deserve to be treated the way you ought to be treated. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I love Uzona. I love him so much. Uzona completes me. Hmm. I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody. You got it wrong. That's where men have a hand over women. And they call them the weaker vessel. And look at you. I could smell your beauty from afar. I mean, when I saw you coming all the way from that place, I, I could smell your gait. You were so charming. A woman as charming as you are should not allow any man, I mean, any man to demean her. Yes. Your is this too. This is not right. Oh, what is not right? That I am older. Yes, I am. But I am wiser. And I am more experienced in all the places. Above all, I am the king. Let me treat you like the queen that you are. Just accept my proposal. Proposal? Oh, yes. What proposal? Oh, of course, that you should be my wife. Oh, yes. Look at you. Look at me. Huh? Um, look at me. I have been alone for a long time. I mean, I need someone who will fill the void opened by the death of my wife. You fit in that category. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I love Usona. I love Usona, Your Majesty. Usona completes me. He does. Oh, Your Majesty. At this point, I'm really disappointed. Because this is not right for a man in your position. Excuse me. And that was why I tried talking you out of this madness, but wouldn't listen. So please, please, I beg you. I thought he was being a father to me, because I needed a father. I never knew he was just to me. I'm so sorry. Did, did, did you just say father? Did you say father? Really? No, no. Tell me, what kind of father calls his daughter at such odd hour? Things so long on for me. Ah! No, tell me! Tell me! Listen, you are the one that encouraged this man into all this mess that he's doing. You gave him access into your life. Our lives! Our lives, Baba! Our lives! I'm sorry, Uso. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please, Uso. I never knew he was after me in that man now. Oh, really? Really? Really, Barbara? The Barbara I know is a smart girl. 
you should have been able to 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 to, to figure this out. Please, Uzo. Don't you dumb me? Uzo, please, Uzo, Uzo, please, Uzo, forgive me, Uzo, please, please, I beg you, please, I never knew this was going to happen, please, Uzo, Uzo, I beg you, please, Uzo, Uzo, please, please, please forgive me. I still love you. Can I let you know something? Oh no. Can I just let you know for the moment? My very mind at this moment. I'm boiling. I'm furious. I'm very angry with you. And I don't want to see your face. Who's we can fix this? 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 Who's please? Who's please? Who's please? You have been very, very unruly since you got here. Where is that coming from? I understand. Uh, well, I belong to a community where we respect the king. But when the, when the king tends not to respect himself and his position, we speak in the way we can fit. What has come over you, Zola? What gives you the effrontery to talk to a man in my position who went out of his way to? Assist the one you call your love. I see you're claiming not to know why I'm here or why I'm this angry. Which has confirmed my suspicions. But I'm here to play with you. To take off your Casanova eyes off my woman. Has anyone fed you with lies? Are you not with your senses? Supposed to dig for facts before coming here to dig your own grave. Do you have an idea of where you are? I am sorry for your children and the entire people of Obudenu who sees you as an upright and righteous king. But you and I know that you are a black snake. To let you know something, I won't rest one bit until I take you down. Mark my words. See who's gonna take me down. <laughs> you know, I'm even standing and talking with you. Now, I am only tolerating your stupidity. Alright? But don't you take it farther. Otherwise, when you disappear, there'll be no trace. <laughs> Then you will know why they say that the strongest cows are not the ones with the largest of meat. Watch your back. I don't understand what you're doing here. Perhaps the king has appealed to you to come talk some senses into my head. I want you to go back and tell him that I will not have anything to do with him or his family. Tough talking, Ugoma. Can you please calm down? Calm down, please. I don't understand it. Why are you suddenly talking so hypersensitive? Are you not wired to like who likes you? I don't know what you want from me. Pshaw. But I am not interested. I am not one of those girls you pimp for that man. I will not subject myself to doing that. Nobody. Nobody is talking about pimping you to anyone. But I came here this night specifically because I see you as one of those girls who will be willing to assist in the government to unmask what ought to be unmasked. As we speak, Goma, there is a mission and I am believing that you are going to assist us in that mission. Mission? Yes. What? What mission? Look, I don't know what you want, but I want all of you to leave me alone. I don't know what you mean by all of you. I am not one of those men who like to operate with crowd. 
I move alone. And when I move alone, I move deadly. You know, I came here this night because I, I see you as one of those ladies who will be prepared to go all out to save their brothers from imminent danger. And I, I am believing that you wouldn't want your brother to be exposed to horror. And uh, if, and if you are so convinced, or if you are telling me that you love your brother so much, you wouldn't want anything to happen to him, then you are going to be part of this mission. My brother, what have you done to my brother? What have you done to my brother? I am not going to discuss what we have not done to him yet. But I am saying that you may not like eventually what will happen to him. You can lift your phone and call him from now until tomorrow. He is not going to answer you. We have him. And that is because we want you to come out. Listen, it is a mission. A mission that involves even the government. Are you willing to assist the government? Or do you want us to do what we want please. to do? Hold on, please. Don't do anything to my brother. I beg you in the name of God. He's the only son my family has got. Please. Please. Can you compose yourself? Can you comport yourself? Yes. And then you are willing to work for the government. I am sorry, Clarion. But I am disappointed. I mean, you invited me over here to talk about the prince. What made you feel I want to talk about him? You once told me you loved the guy. <laughs> a statement made in error. It was a one-sided love. I discovered I was the one in love. He never did love me. And so I regret everything. You're confusing me. How do you mean he never loved you? <laughs> Look, it was in his room I got fired. That stone-hearted son of a Casanova king never did anything. I went on my knees begging. I was virtually crying. I gave him back his words, but he kept mute. So what does that tell you? It's possible he was overwhelmed. It's natural with men, you know? Well, I am no longer in the palace. Whether I was overwhelmed or is still overwhelmed, that's none of my business. I mean, that guy took advantage of me and I hate him. Don't worry, my friend. You will change that statement as soon as I give you the good news. What good news? The prince has left the palace in anger because of what befell his father. Is that the good news? Yeah, he's now vulnerable. This is the best time for you to take charge of what belongs to you. Call him. Let him tell you his whereabouts. Go there and take full charge of what is yours, my friend. Clara, what is the need? His father is no longer in authority as king. And he is no longer the prince. They fired me. I am now the one firing them. I you think running away. Leaving only your sister to clean up this mess is okay. What do you want me to do? I can't go back there. I can't even look them in the face. He ruined my life, Sharon. Maybe he did something we are not proud of. And something that scared us. But that doesn't exempt you from your own mistakes. You make some decisions that you are entirely responsible for. You chose to live the life like your father. You didn't try to combat his demons. You gave in and look where that kept us. Back to square one. You know, I wish I could go back in time. And we can't. We would all have been so happy. Very happy. And we can't. You need to be a man 
and embrace the situation head on. My prince, you need to go home and make peace. The princess has tried for you too. She too can break. And only then can you come back. Then we'll discuss about the things that happened. Madam Chica, I know how you'll be feeling about me right now. I know you're just saying all of this to make me feel better. But looking at it critically, I did the right thing. And that is why I'm here holding this meeting with you. King Solomon actually became too wild. And you know what? Your action put him where he truly belongs. Yes. No. My action cost him his throne. I am not happy about it. That was not my plan. Come on, stop feeling pity for him. A king who uses his position and take advantage of ordinary people should know that there could be a repercussion. So why pity for him? Hi, it's my friend. Oh. Hi, it's Moody. I know she hates me right now. How is she handling all of this? Well, Princess Moody has always been who she is. A combination of a queen and a princess. In fact, she's the only sane person in that palace right now. I've not someone courage to call her. Because I know she will not pick up my call. No. She hates me right now. No. Please. Can I talk to her through your phone? Can you call her for me? Hello? You can come to the palace anytime you want. And I assure you that the princess will be ready to welcome you as a special friend who went out of her way to teach her father a lesson. So feel free, all right? Smile. Huh? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. But you didn't offer me anything. you requested. I thought it was a joke. Daddy, what are you doing? That is the only way I think I should end it. Would you, my dear daughter? That's the only way I think I should end it for you? For this family? Because I am bad news. I'm a big, bad woman to the family. Daddy. Don't say that. You are my father. And the king. The king who has lost his throne. Never has it been heard that a king in this kingdom abdicates his throne and lost it the way I have lost mine. I have lost the throne of my fathers. I have shamed my forefathers. I lost it all because I could not listen to the voice of wisdom. 
because I could not control myself. And you think taking your life will put an end to it? You think dying will provide a solution? Daddy, listen. You've made mistakes. But you're not going to die because of those mistakes. What we will do is learn the important lessons from those mistakes. Okay? Woody. I do not deserve you. I do not deserve a soul as beautiful as yours. By the way, what are you still doing here? I belong here. Your brother left. Why are you not leaving? Because I'm with you, Daddy. We're family. Just because things got a little rough doesn't mean I will abandon you. We're family, Daddy. I got you. And as for Oranye, He's not angry at you. If anything, I, I think he's angry at himself. I think he's angry at all the mistakes that he, he made whilst deluding himself that you pushed him into making those mistakes. But he'll come back, Daddy. Because that's what family does. Family stick together. We will survive this, Royal or not. You need to cheer. Aranye, Daddy. Dad. She's right. Well, I've made mistakes. We have made mistakes, but we have also learned very big lessons. We cannot run away, Father. We cannot run away from our past. For if we do, our past will continue to chase us. That's right. We can lose royalty, Dad. we cannot lose ourselves for our family and we are all that we've got how are you I read your mindset about life. Arrange your mindset about women. And we can begin to learn again, Father. Yes. Maybe. Only this time, Dad, we learn the right things. There's a lot to be thankful for that. I am so thankful for my sister, Moody. She's an angel, Dad. For all that she stands for, for all the times that she tried 
to get us on the right track. Who knows what would, what would have happened if she had not been here to quench the fire. Modi, yeah. I want you to know that we love you and we appreciate you. Sorry for all the troubles and all the unnecessary fights and headache. We cost you for no reason. <laughs> On behalf of Daddy, I say that we are sorry. It's okay. I forgive you too. Thank you. This is a storm. But together as Family, we will overcome royal or not. Come on, Daddy. Give me love. <laughs> Give me love, Daddy. 